Yo know what time it is, it's a yellow squid from that you live from in Copley Square where today in this stream we are finally going to be playing Super Mario Starshine created by SPG64 and welcome to the stream BTS Army Rose, you are always one of the first three to comment so keeping up with that streak, well done and so the reason why I've started on the revolution screen and you'll see in a second I was going to explain it but I think it's just better that you see it and here it is. Also, this game does take quite a while to load because it is a really big game. Here it comes. Look at that! That's cool, I love that. Um, allow adequate room. Oh wait, um, it moves as well. Uh, when using a controller connected, blah blah blah, please keep in mind that load times for this mod can be a bit long. Put on and tighten the wrist, the wrist strap. No, I'm not doing that. Let's just skip through that screen, but it's really cool that changed. The only other mod that I know of that changes that screen is the Neo Mario Galaxy update that I recently played through, so this one did it first, I believe. <laughs> so there it is, Super Mario Starshine. This came out in 2022, and it's created by SPG64, but there's also a whole lot of other people that also had a hand in making the mod. And they are SPG64, Evan Ball, Alex SMG, Xandog, Luma48, Galaxy Master, Awesome TMC, Lord Giganticus, if that's how you say it, Frogger, Kairos, Super Hakio, and Aram. So that is the readme credits that comes with the mod when you download it. So they're all the people, if you want to have a look through them. I don't even know if you can see the names due to the low resolution of the stream, but there they are. <laughs> you can have a look at that if you want. Or you can just download the mod in the description and have a look at the actual file and all the links. But back to the game. I'm really looking forward to this one. I've played half of Super Mario Sunshine. I've never beaten it. I've just never got around to beating it. But it is a really fun game and I'm sure that this will be a fun game. And this demo comes with 20 stars or 20 shine sprites I suppose I should say. So let's get straight into it. File one, because I am number one. <laughs> I'm the best. Uh, yes, I do. I want to create a new file, but not with any of those ugly faces. Um, not going to highlight any of the names. <gasps> oh, what are these? I'm going to be C. C for celebrate, because I'm going to celebrate when I get all the stars. <laughs> C doesn't really stand for anything, does it? Off the top of my head. Oh, that's what it stands for. Shilling on Isle Delfino. Yeah, let's go. And hello, Elite Goblin VR. Uh, welcome to the stream. Your goblin.exe.rr is getting popular fast. What are you on about? You better not be self-promoting. That better be a joke. I really hope that's a joke. And welcome to the stream, Blue Microphone Videos. Uh, you're also a regular and we are thrown straight into things. Hello, Peach. Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Why? I've got a good feeling about this. I think this is going to be a really good mod. And Luigi, I can talk to you as well. Hey bro, thanks for letting me come along on vacation this time. This time? When did I not bring you on vacation? Anyways. Although you really should get rid of that piranha plant. Hey, I have an idea. There's a green shell around here somewhere. Maybe you can kill the piranha plant with that. There's no flood? Oh, I want to kill the piranha plant with Flood, and is Toad's worth here? I, I don't think Toad's worth here. He sent, he sent the other Toad. He sent Captain Toad in his place. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. Mario! She's done. Shout so loud. It's supposed to be my day off, so can you please take care of this situation for me? If you say so, please help us. I will, I will. I'm getting to it. What are you digging? Don't stop digging, all right? Twitter? What? <laughs> is that SPG trying to self-promote or something? Or is Yellow Toad genuinely just having a nightmare about Twitter? You're so scared! Yeah, I'd be having... I'd be scared if I were having nightmares about Twitter. Do something! Oh, it's these weird guys again from Super Mario 63! <laughs> the underpant monsters. I'll never... I'll never get rid of them. The weird, creepy guys. I forgot what, I forgot what the name was. Get that plant off my airstrip! Are we going to say airship? No, it's airstrip. Do you not talk? Nope, you just you just stand there. Do you talk? Nope. And oh no, the wanted poster. Why am I wanted? If I was the junior in this game, dressing up as me. 
Uh, what was my objective again? To get a shell and kill the piranha plant. Oh, whoa, that is... That is a weird long jump. And you don't talk either. Look at that! That is such a cool long jump. Uh, you do the Mario Sunshine dive into the long jumping. I love that. Like, that is such a cool feature. I, I, I don't know how hard it is to add that to the game, but... I assume it's quite hard, because not many mods do it. Is this going to be a shell? It, it is really off-putting, though, when you long jump. Like, that is really messing with me. Right, there's the shell, though. All the way on top of that water tank. So now i just got to kill this guy, right? And will that be my first shine? Nope, it's my first launch star. There's launch stars in Mario Sunshine. Okay, uh... I suppose that makes sense, because it is a Mario Galaxy mod. Uh, Bianco Hills, uh, road to the big windmill, let's go. And look at that though, it is actually a, it, it is actually a star, shine, star shine, or shine sprite, whatever it's called. But I do know that is a separate mod that you can actually just download from Game Banana. Where someone's made a mod which just replaces all the power stars with, with star shines, what are they called? Shine sprites, I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> And what's this sign here? Welcome to Bianco Hills. You'll find Rico Harbour on your left and P uh, Pina Park on your right. Uh, will I? Oh yeah, I will. It's right down there and Pina Park is to my right. Beautiful view. Any green shines in this mod yellow? Ooh, I uh, hope not. I've had enough. I've had enough green stars and rainbow stars for my lifetime. You seem familiar. Oh wait, you're Luigi. No, I'm not. You're the one dressed in green. Welcome to Isle Delfino. I'm Mario. I'm not Luigi. Right, maybe maybe you can recognise me. Hey, pal. Your, your hat for a nice pair of sunglasses. Yes. Seems like a good trade. All right, here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just blow up my hat? Oh, no, it's right there. Can I pick it up? No, I can't, but I've got a nice pair of sunglasses. Look at that. I can't really get a good camera view, but... Mario is looking amazing. Can I still spin, though? Oh, no, I can't spin. It's literally hard mode. Can I have my hat back, please? Uh, you want to swap back? Yes, I do, please. I really want to spin. All right, then. Yep, back to easy mode. <laughs> I'm sure that would be fun to play through, but I'm not going to be playing through that in the demo, at least. You've always wanted to visit Delfino Plaza. Yeah, why did I skip Delfino Plaza? I kind of just got teleported here. Am I not going to be able to slide down this? Can I ground pound? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, there's these guys all over the place. I forgot what they're called. You lost your one-up mushroom in the river. Can you find it? I'll let you keep it if you do. Okay. Side quest. See if I can find this one-up. It's not over here. So it's going to be over on the other end, I assume. Yeah, imagine playing this without spinning. That would be really hard to do. Because obviously you don't spin in Super Mario Sunshine, but you do have the Flood backpack, which helps helps you um, land your jumps a lot easier. Just like how the spin, spin does in Mario Galaxy. I got an extra life! There we go! Uh, look at this gateway here to catch that one up instead of blowing out into the open sea. Oh, and you swim very fast in this mod. I believe that was also in Super Mario 63 as well. So it seems like the games have a lot of similarities between them. And I don't really know what to do. <laughs> you're small. Oh yeah, you are. You're, you're the same size as me. Someone get that guy a power mushroom so that he can go to big size again. Oh, I see you. And I see you too. I'm not going to bother killing and collecting absolutely everything. Just going to do a quick run round and see if there's any secrets anywhere. You know, maybe another one-up that another guy has lost. Uh, for the most part, there's not really anything here. Oh, there we go. Star bits. I found some secret star bits. I don't know if I need them, but I'm definitely going to be taking them. So it looks like I've got two paths. I'm going to go this way because this, this is a more secret way. Oh, is that a bee mushroom I see? I'm pretty sure the bee mushroom is not in Super Mario Sunshine, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty good substitute for the Flood's jetpack. So give me that. I transformed into bee Mario. Hold the A to buzz around. Oh, I'm already doing it. Alright, guess I'll just follow the lily pads. 
Hey, what's that blue thing back there? I saw something blue. I wasn't sure what that was. You wonder if there's any secret stars. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. There could be a secret star. And if I'm exploring absolutely everything, I could be about to find a secret star. So maybe all this random exploring won't just be a waste of time. And maybe I'll actually be speedrunning. <laughs> yeah, what, what is that blue thing? Is it just a balloon? Right, I think it's just a balloon. And it's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, no, it's one of those slimy spring guys. <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going very high. Oh, gosh, I thought I was above it. Right, where does this actually lead? Looks like I'm going up to this cave over here. Is this not a sub area in in Mario Sunshine? I'm pretty sure it is. You can't go in here right now. Try coming back when the lake is dirty. What? When the lake is when the when the lake is dirty? Why why would the lake be dirty? Uh, what do you know that I don't know? Why do you know that the lake is going to end up dirty? Hmm. Someone keep an eye on that guy. Make sure he's not dumping in the lake. <laughs> Oh, I love being able to swim so fast. Like, imagine being able to... No, imagine not being able to swim fast and having to swim slowly throughout this entire lake. That would take forever. And there's also some speed hoops underwater as well. I really forgot just how big the galaxies or stages are in Super Mario Sunshine. Like, this is massive. Just wishing there were a few more secrets. <laughs> yeah, I found the secret sun lounger. Or sun bed. But I was kind of hoping maybe there'd be like a secret one-up. Or maybe like a secret six health mushroom. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's over here? There's stuff over here. You've got some enemies. Oh, see if I can kill all of them in one go. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to get it. They're all out of sync. Nope. Quick, escape, run, and collect the star bits. Oh, what's this, though? found a watermelon. Don't I have to collect every single star in the game for the coconuts to turn into watermelons? <laughs> Why is it over here, watermelon? I don't know. I kind of like how floaty it is, though. It goes all over the place. And Oh, gosh. Why are there so many big purple piranha plants over here? All right, let me just kill him. Kawoosh. Lovely. Oh, and we've also got a purple penguin. Penguru brought us here. Who is Penguru? Penguru. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Oh, there's lots of stuff up there, though. How do we get up there? Oh, I think I need the bee suit. All right. That looks like it's going to be a secret star, so I might backtrack later for that. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm going to stick to the main path because I'm not finding too much with all this wandering. Oh, wait. What did I do? Oh, that's a star right there. Oh, I thought the star was going to be at the top of the windmill. Well, yeah, I'll absolutely take that. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I wasted so much time exploring the entire mission. I should have just gone... Straight to the purple piranha plants and follow the path and just got the star straight away. That's what I should have done. But I'm hoping now that I've got the first star in, first star in the game that maybe a lot more will open up in the game and the stage will be a lot more full and there's a lot more secrets for me to finally find. Like maybe that cave will finally be open. There we go, star number one. I got some star bits, I sure did. I don't know if it's going to be useful. Why is that guy t person in the background? Oh, he's put his arms down. Maybe he was just stretching, and maybe it wasn't a bug. <laughs> oh no, what's happened? Oh no! Uh, can I open the chest? Is this my wardrobe? Uh, I believe that's my wardrobe. Right, so following the story of Mario Sunshine, I assume that I've just been accused of vandalising Ayo Delfino, so time to break out! Yep, I saw that in, I saw that in the trailer. <laughs> Like, in no other universe would I have thought to spin the gate. Uh, besides this universe, where I actually watched the trailer for once and saw that's what you meant to do. So, is that the pipe that I just came out of? No, it isn't, is it? But I can't go in it. This is kind of looking like Super Mario 3D Land now. These are 3D Land textures, right? I believe they are. I would risk going in that pipe, but I feel like it's just for decoration and I'm not actually going to be able to go through it. Yeah, there's a lot of pipes here. These have just got to be for decoration. Oh, there is a secret one up there. 
I really want to grab that, so that's what the pipe is for. It's not decoration, I meant to stand on top of it. <laughs> and, oh wait. Just about reached that with a spin, I thought maybe I'd have to do a wall jump to reach that. Luckily, that is not the case. But, I do not remember this part of Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is all custom, which is really cool. I don't remember there being a jail escape sequence, and I kind of want to see if I can go in that big pipe. Yep, I knew that was a stupid idea, and I knew that was going to be an invisible wall. Why did I do that? Not a clue, but that was instant regret, and oh, I'm all the way back in the jail cell. Right, doesn't matter, I can just speed run and get back to where I was. I wasn't that far in the stage. Yep, don't need the one-up mushroom. How did I miss that there was a hurry scurry panel up there, though? Like, that one-up is clearly visible when you come out of that pipe, and I somehow missed it. I'm ashamed of myself. With all this secret hunting that I'm trying to do, I missed the most obvious secret in the game. Right, where's this lead? How deep underground was my jail cell? They were very low down. Oh, no explosion? I thought I were hitting them as fast as I could. Right, don't know what that little observation deck is. <laughs> is that it? Have I escaped? Have I escaped prison? No, Rosalina, why are you in prison? With 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Galaxy on the TV. Uh, can I talk to you? Oh wait, is that is that Cosmic Mario in the background? Rosalina, watch out! I think that Bowser Jr. behind you. Can I shoot through the bars? No, I can't. That's kind of creepy though. That is that is a hover movie right there. <laughs> oh, and there's my second Starshine or Shine Sprite. I keep calling it Starshine. It's a Shine Sprite. Uh, so why are you giving me the Shine? I thought you were the security guard. Hey, it turns out we weren't supposed to throw you in jail. Apparently somebody that looks very similar to you is going around town causing trouble. Take this shine sprite and return it to Delfino Plaza where it belongs. Maybe you can help us search for the rest of them. I believe I will be able to, but kind of useless escaping prison when they just give you the... when they just let you go as soon as you've escaped. <laughs> like, what was the point in that? I should have just waited a few, few more minutes and then I'd be able to just walk out. Uh, that's Kaizo Mario Galaxy, not Super Mario Galaxy. What are you referring to, Blue XD modding? And welcome to the stream as well. <laughs> oh wait, you mean on the TV screen? Was it Kaizo Mario Galaxy on the TV screen? Oh right! <laughs> is Rosalina mod modding Mario Galaxy 3D All-Stars? I believe she is. Um, I do not have to worry about the blue coins just yet. Oh no. Uh, terrifying advice from Evan Bow, as always. And I got a shine, jailbreak! And stage complete? Uh, what stage did I complete? Uh, prison? Jail? Is that the stage that I completed? I didn't even realise that was a stage. And is this it? Is it finally open world? Can I finally explore Delfino Isle? Or Isle Delfino? I need to play Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Mario! This place is really nice. The others are having an absolute blast. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, look at that, by Uncle Hills. Uh, the five shines in that galaxy and the Comet Medal. So, the galaxies are quite big then. Uh, just before I go back there, I do want to explore Isle Delfino. Or Delfino Plaza, it's actually called, isn't it? It sure has gotten a lot brighter around here. Um, it seems like it. From what I can remember in Mario Sunshine, this entire plaza is covered in pin absolutely everywhere. What is this? Is, is that a star? Is that shine? Yeah, it is. How do I get that? I need to find Yoshi. Uh, do you know where Yoshi is? Uh, is this you? Uh, no, no, that's not me. I need to switch to Luigi as soon as possible so that no one blames me for graffiti in the island. I'm hoping to be heading back to Payanta Village soon. Okay, what a view. Yeah, it is a pretty nice view. Look how blue that water is. I haven't played the original game, I've only played half of the original game, and it was absolutely ages ago. I've never beaten it, I think I got like 60 shines and called it a day. <laughs> um, are there any secret stars in this mod? I think we just found a secret star inside that, inside that house just there. Right, but there are hungry loomers, so I do need to collect coins. He needs 120? No, you are a very hungry loomer. 
Yeah, maybe I could find the 120, but I don't have them on me right now, so... Next time I go to Bianco Hills, I need to kill as many enemies as I can. Oh, look at that, I found a Silver Shine sprite. Can I actually, like, swim in this water? Is this not going to be an invisible wall? Yeah, there's a Shine sprite over there, so I've got to be able to. Yeah, we're kind of debating if that's just a background or not, because I know that in the distance, I know that's a background. I can't just swim to a stage, or... Maybe I can. It's got Galaxy Level Engine. Oh, what have I found? Ice Mario! Yes! Although, I kind of don't want that. I kind of want the Silver Star. Yep, there we go. And what do you have to say? Hello? Oh, that's it. <laughs> the most disappointing text in history. Uh, does this actually work, though? Oh, the sewer system doesn't work. I know that in Mario Sunshine. Uh, Mario, you got a bit of a hunchback. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, now in Mario Sunshine, you can ground pound them and go to, like, an underground sewer system, and it's really cool. I uh, kind of a shame that it's not in this game, but I assume that would be really hard to mod. So, where am I going? I don't know, but I see a pipe up there, so that's where I'm going to try and get to. A triple jump onto this palm tree? Yes, I can. I think I'm doing this right. Oh, I should probably wait until the ice flower runs out so that I can get my spin back. There we go. What is this? Is this new? I do not remember this being in Mario Sunshine, but then again, I've, o I've only played half the game. Oh, is this not in the... Is this not in the demo? Oh, no! Oh, that's a shame. So, I'm assuming that because this is only the, only the demo, that there's going to be a lot of locked doors just like that. Like, this cannon here, I know that this is one of the later stages in the game. But if there's only 20 stars in this demo, am I going to be able to go down this? Uh, can I? Nope, there's another trapdoor blocking my way. <laughs> uh, Pina Park is closed right now. No! Pina Pina. Don't know how to say it. Although, I do remember that being one of the really, really hard stages in Mario Sunshine, so probably for the best that I don't go there straight away. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, there's another Silver Star, or Silver Shine. Just two more to collect, and I feel like I barely explored the uh, plaza yet. Got any fruit? Uh, there's a fruit right there. <laughs> uh, so if you just, if you just walk behind the basket, you'll find some. Blue Toad! Oh, you are very happy. It's so bright outside today. I should really get some sunglasses. Uh, you should. Although, I think I left them in Bianco Hills. So, there's some over there if you want to get them. Uh, Rosalina. Oh, yeah, did anyone rescue Rosalina or is she still in jail? You've decided to take a break from your job. It's been good. Oh, yeah, that's Mail Toad, isn't it? And Captain Toad, are you still on vacation? The princess is safe. We've got your back. Good to hear. Although, where is the princess? Oh, yeah, she's at the spawn, isn't she? Oh, Mario, will the princess be okay? Oh, wait, she isn't even kidnapped. Have a nice day. Uh, no, she's not kidnapped. And I'm pretty sure in Mario Sunshine, isn't she only kidnapped for, like, half the game? I might be remembering that wrong. Right, can I break this open? That is a very big box, and that is a very disappointing reward for such a big box. I missed one. Oh, no, I missed, I missed the Silver Shine. All right, well, I'm not done exploring just yet. Oh, there it is. Um, see, I would have found it. <laughs> Like, I'm going to give this a very thorough ex exploration, because I want to explore absolutely everything there is to offer. Oh, that's Yoshi up there. Wait, so if I grab Yoshi, will I be able to... Oh, weird camera angle. If I get Yoshi, will I be able to grab that shine that's directly underneath him? Right, not to self, do not stand on the canopies. Like, they look very standable, but apparently the roof is um, easier to stand on. <laughs> Must be a bit more grip. Right, Yoshi, are you hungry? Are you hungry, hungrier than the Hungry Luma? Because you need to eat that. Oh, it was that easy. Right, if I grab this, is this going to delete my Silver Stars? I hope not. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right, but do my Silver Shines stay? Oh, this is not looking good. Why have I teleported? I thought you got the level engine. I thought we were going to stay right where I was. I don't see any silver shines. Nope, it deleted them. No. Because I know that this mod uses a galaxy level engine, so 
I thought it would be safe to grab the to grab the star shine shine sprite whatever it's called. It doesn't matter though. I think I know where they all are. And what I'm going to do is I see a lot of dash peppers in the ocean. So I'm going to grab Joshi again and I'm going to use him to get to that island all the way in the distance. Right, Yoshi, it's time to eat again. All right, where is the nearest dash pepper? Probably that one over there. Just behind this li little house here. And I just about reached it. And I have arrived on the island. Oh, I have plenty of time. Got a lot of time to kill. Oh, and Yoshi jumped so high as well. Yoshi, when did you learn to jump so high? Uh, I'll take it though. Hmm, once again, where is the nearest dash pepper? I think this one. Oh wait, no, the one on the island isn't isn't there? What am I talking about? The one right here behind me. Give me that. And sure, why not? Let's go through the river. Oh wait, there's a silver shine there. Did I get that one last time? I don't know if I did. And <laughs> Joshi, please stop banging your head on the wall. Oh, what's that up there? The shine all the way up there as well. Right, turns out the shine's all over the place. Oh, and there's a final silver shine. Uh, don't mind if I do. Although, what's the easiest way of getting up there? Well, Joshi jumped super high, so... I think he'll be able to jump up there. Oh, no. Careful. Come on. You, you can do it. And... Bye, Yoshi. Yep, just about made it up. Oh wait, there's more? Oh, I thought that was it. Alright, so how many are there going to be then? Oh wait, there's a switch up there. There's, there's so many secrets to this, to this uh, galaxy. I'm going to call it a galaxy. I know it's not a galaxy. I know it's Delfino Plaza, but I'm still going to keep calling it a galaxy. Uh, I kind of wish that I'd get Yoshi and his massive jump. But yeah, I can make it up there. So what does this do then? Oh, just that bit. I'm really cool though. I like that. I like that a lot. I just need to make sure that I don't grab any more shines. Until I grab all the silver shines. I look like that's going to be another galaxy as well. But it's not in the demo. Yeah, there's a lot of locked doors. So this mod, when it finally releases, this is going to be massive. Oh, hi Luigi. Hey Mario, feel free to go in this door if you want to switch characters. You can play as Mario or you can play as me. Luigi is completely up to you and I'm going to stick as Mario because what I don't want to happen is that I go in that door and all the silver shines stay in there. But I'm not going to risk losing the silver shines and I'm going to keep them with me. Alright, there's more than six. This is getting very cursed very quickly. How many silver shines are there going to be? Oh wait, maybe there's going to be 8 and maybe they're replacing the 8 red coins. Because aren't the red coins in Ava Galaxy in Super Mario Sunshine? I believe there are. Hey, look at this, the little market. Uh, the sun is shining today, it sure is, and I believe that's what I said as the title of, title of this video. <laughs> what are you selling? You're selling uh, peppers? The weather just feels great. It sure does. I look pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. Is it all my silver shines? Yeah, they make me look cool, don't they? And you're selling berries? Or fruit? Oh, the fruit is free to take. Oh, thank you. I uh, just wish that I had a Yoshi. Oh, here's Yoshi. Right, Yoshi, eat up. Uh, don't eat the guy, please. Don't eat the guy. Don't eat the guy. Oh, what did it tell you, Yoshi? Don't eat the guy. <laughs> Something tells me that next time I go back to him, he's not going to be so willing to give me the free fruit. I just want to get back to that island. A uh, which island? Oh wait, I just realised that's the airport over there. Uh, that is one thing that I absolutely love about Super Mario Sunshine, is that you can see all the other galaxies and stages in the background. Which I do think is so cool. It really makes the world feel a lot more alive. Oh, there's probably going to be a silver star over there, isn't there? Uh, what do you have to say? You enjoy sitting in the shade. Uh, you're not even sitting down. <laughs> Right, so I don't see any dash peppers, so I'm going to have to ditch Yoshi and take this ice flower. Which, you know what? I think is a lot cooler. 
Yeah, I prefer the eye flower. I'm, oh, look at that. I'm no longer diving. I'm actually doing normal long jumps. <laughs> and is there really no silver star over here? And I do not see. I don't see a gate in that pipe. Uh, which is kind of terrifying. So don't go down the pipe and leave my silver stars. Oh, wait. There's one over there. Right. And there is actually... Uh, there is actually dash peppers over here. Uh, there's so many stars in the hub worlds. Yeah, I've noticed that. I thought there were only going to be one or, one or two, but it seems like the majority of the demo takes place in the hub world. Hello, Dante. Yep, that is my real name. And welcome to the stream, Mario Kirby. And that is still not the end of the silver stars. Right, I think I'm on seven at the moment. So, assuming that they are replacing the red coins, then there should be one more to collect. That is not a silver star. <laughs> that is a bean mushroom. Or, I suppose, I should say a Flood jetpack. Because <laughs> it pretty much has the same role as Flood in this game. Oh, Yoshi, I'm going to have to ditch you. And Rhinocides, welcome to the stream as well. Everyone calling me calling me by my real name. <laughs> Everyone just exposing who I am. <laughs> uh, not that I care, though. Um, I don't care in the slightest, so keep calling me by my real name if you want. <laughs> Uh, where is the final silver star, though? Uh, there's a shine up there. I could just infinite flood them up there, but I'm going to try and resist the urge to do that. Um, I don't see it. I was hoping it would just be on top of a rooftop, so let's just keep walking around until I find it. Could be here a while, though, because this is a really big stage. Like, what's that back there? It could be on top of that little... I don't know what that is. A little thing sticking out of the ocean. Yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of rooftops that I've not explored, though. Like, look at this, there's a dice block up here that I've not even seen. Uh, maybe it's got a silver star on it. Ah, uh, no, I don't think it does. I think that sounds like a one-up. I think, I think I got lucky then. <laughs> right, it's got to be in the box, right? Nope, another big box, another massive disappointment. Oh, what's in there? Oh, how do I get in there? There's another star shine in there. Not star shine, stop calling them that. What's it called? Shine Sprite, that's what it's called. <laughs> right, I kind of want to get on top of here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, it's right there. Um, I didn't even realise it could go back here. I thought there was just decoration in the background. And um, please just land right there. No, why did you go all the way over there? Oh, and on top of the statue as well. That is really mean. So what's all this? Uh, you're struggling so much with one of the new platformer demons. Alright, so you're playing Geometry Dash whilst I'm playing Mario Galaxy. <laughs> um, and how are we doing, uh, Super Hackier? I am doing very well, I believe. Uh, once again, I do have a bit of a sore throat like always. So if you do hear me uh, pause for a while uh, during the stream, it does mean that I'm turning off the microphone and I'm coughing. <laughs> but yeah, if I ever go mute, it means that I've just uh, tried to hide some coughs. <laughs> But uh, besides that, I'm doing alright. <laughs> now, how am I going to grab this shine? Right, so Yoshi's got a massive jump. So if I just flutter with Yoshi... Oh wait, no, I can stand on top of this. I was going to say I'm going to try and jump off Yoshi, but nope. I can just flutter all the way up there. So don't mind if I do. And everyone saying hello to each, each other in the chat. So hello everyone. <laughs> What a pleasant chat we've got today. Uh, I think I've said hello to everyone. I don't think I've missed anyone's names. And that is the fourth star of the game. And it's taken me half an hour to grab four stars. I didn't even realise how long I've been playing the game for. So this seems like it might be quite a good length demo. Oh, what's inside these boxes? Oh, I got a bee mushroom. All right, pretty useful. I got a cloud flower. Um, I'll absolutely take that. And I'll instantly lose it because I want to see what's inside this one as well. It's an eye flower. All right, so I think uh, the winner of this situation is obviously going to be the cloud flower. Why would you take the other two? You're, you're obviously, obviously going to take the cloud flower, right? Although, I suppose maybe you would take the bee mushroom. But I want to try and get on top of this massive gate over here. There's got to be something on top of here. As long as it's in the demo. Like, I hope it's not just a blocked off galaxy. Oh, this is really high up. Oh no, I didn't mean to ground pound! 
Oh, I am so stupid. Right, if I can just find Joshi, then I can just use the berry to get up there. Uh, just ignore that. Just ignore me ground pounding. And what's this over here? Is this a jail? I think this is... I think this is prison. Why is everybody talking about the weather these days? Yeah, I suppose you're so used to it that you don't even notice it. And the town is cleaner than ever. And you can go into this building if you want to. Uh, sure, I want to go into this building. I'm guessing this is a prison. It looks like a prison. <laughs> this is not a prison. Uh, I do not know what this is. Yep, this no longer looks like prison. Uh, I'll take all the star bits though, but what I really need is some coins for the Hungry Luma. On... I'm gonna say Comet Observatory, no, what do we even call it? It's just on the hub world. Uh, what is this? Um, I like just a massive Paragoomba. Uh, this is cool! It's just a, yeah, just a random sub area, alright. I don't know what this is doing inside of a building. Uh, this is a very weird building indeed. Oh no, I missed one, but I think I've got enough speed. Oh no, I missed that one. Although, I don't think I'm against the time limit or anything, so... I can just take my sweet, sweet time with this. Oh, I'm loving this stage, though. And now we're changing gravity. See, this is where Mario Galaxy comes into it. <laughs> Finally changing gravity. Oh, this is getting pretty tight. Yep, uh, that was bad. Am I going to die? Nope, I should be able to land right here. Right, so this gets really thin. Yep. Oh, that was really close. Where's it going? Oh, there it is. No, don't jump past it. Am I safe? Just about. <laughs> I couldn't tell how far away from the platform I was, so I just ejected from Yoshi. Uh, thank you for your sacrifice, Yoshi. Have you seen that there's a new remake of the Mario Sunshine beta? Uh, no? No, I haven't. I don't really keep up with Mario Sunshine, because... I've never even beaten the game, so... I've never even looked into Mario... Into Mario Sunshine modding. <laughs> uh, close call, yeah. And I beat that in 1 minute 19 seconds, stashing in the sky. A forgotten track. Yeah, it sure was forgotten because I forgot about it. Didn't even know it was in the game. So, to me, this is basically me just experiencing a brand new mod. Because I've barely played Mario Sunshine and I barely remember it, so... I'm loving this. <laughs> like, if you played Mario Sunshine and you think this is, you think this is a fun mod... Um, well, guess how much fun I'm having. I think this is a brand new game. So I'm having the time of my life over here playing this mod. Alright, so the next place that I want to go to is the island over there. And oh no, I forgot the no dash peppers either, so. Goodbye, Yoshi! At least I didn't kill you this time. I left you on a nice comfy beach uh, with some nice um, umbrellas. And a lovely view of the ocean. Uh, this mod is better than Sunshine because Mario Sunshine's physics are absolutely terrible. And I 100% agree with that. That is one of the reasons why I would put off Mario Sunshine so much. The Poison River. Rafting across the poison. Oh, If this is the stage that I think it is, I've actually played this in Mario Galaxy be before. Yeah, I've, I've played this before. Um, This was released as a single galaxy on Game Banana. So, I don't know if this is the exact same galaxy or if it's been remade by SPG64, but I have played this galaxy in Mario Sunshine before, and I do know that there is a secret down here. And it's quite hard to get. Yeah, there we go. Is it worth it? I'm going to say it is. Yep, just about got it, and nailed it. Right, so it looks like I'm collecting silver stars. Oh, is that a comet medal as well? Alright, so the Comet Medals in all of the stages. I thought this was just another bonus stage, but... The fact that it had a, had a Shine, sele shine Select... Uh, hmm, sorry. Uh, the fact that it had a Shine Select uh, means that it must be a bigger galaxy than just one single stage, right? Alright, uh, Comet Medal is secure. Oh, I hope I can't go through the wall then. Uh, the lily pads went really fast through the wall. Uh, Lofty, you don't like sunshine that much. Galaxy is the best. 
I 100% agree on that. Galaxy is the best 3D Mario game. If not, the best Mario game ever made. Oh, do I have to jump for that one? I think I do. Which I kind of don't really want to do, but there we go. I've done it. And there's only five silver stars this time, not eight like in the hub world. Oh, no, don't go in the point of what happened. Oh, no, the cutscene threw me off. I, I, I got too relaxed to thought I won. <laughs> it doesn't maybe look that poisonous, does it? But, yep, that killed me instantly. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. All right, so when I grab that shine, I need to make sure that the lily pad is completely still. So that when the cutscene happens, I just simply fall back down onto the lily pad. And there's no risk of me falling into the poison. Luckily, it's not a super, super long stage, so I've not lost too much progress. Uh, deadly water, yeah, it sure is deadly water. I look so crystal clear, though. I want to go swimming in it. All right, so slow down to a halt. Surely, if I, if I like, spin or something, surely I can grab that, right? Nope, all right, just a super tiny jump. Don't do a full jump. It's a really small one. So I believe it should be safe. There's no way that I'm falling in the poison this time. Yep, look at that. Bang in the middle. I just don't mess up the final jump. And I think I'm safe. What's this pipe over here? There's a really cool statue of Bowser Jr. Awesome, but I will take this shine. So, not really much to say about that stage. I've played it before in a single video. So, if you want to see more opinions on that stage, just watch that video, I guess. But... I doubt anyone's going to want to see any more of that stage. <laughs> Although, I do want to go back into it, though, because there was a Comet Medal, and there was a Star Select screen, so there must be more than one star, right? But that other sub, sub area did not have a Star Select screen. Right, only got 40 coins. I've only got a third of what I need for the Hungry Luma. I need to start collecting more coins. Oh yeah, look at that! There is another star! It's a Prankster Comet! Oh, look at that! There's even like a custom icon for the Prankster Comet! Purple coins on the poison! Alright, I am up for that! Are there purple coins in Mario Sunshine? I don't think there are, but... I'll collect these ones! Oh, and look at that! There's a little box down there now to make it easier! Oh no! I'm wearing sunglasses! Mario, why are you wearing sunglasses at night time? Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm not, I'm not worried about being weird. It's just the fact that I can't spin now, so this is going to be a whole lot harder. Oh, yep. Almost instantly died, and almost died again. Right, looks like for the most part, these are just in a straight line. Although that timer is going down really fast. Almost a quarter of my time used, and I've only just started on the raft. Right, I can't afford to miss any of these, because backtracking kills a whole lot of time, so you grab them all first time. There we go. It's better to go slower than go faster than have to backtrack. Right, can I get all these in a straight line? Oh, it's, it's wobbling. But I think I've made it. Yep. How oh, can I get all these without backtracking? Just about. Yep. Oh, what am I talking about? We've got plenty of time, right? Right? Uh, I think we have. Oh, no, 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 no. I've messed up. But just looking ahead, the rest of the purple coins seem to be in a straight line. So as long as I don't miss any, I should be good. I like this remix though. A nice summer feel to it, a nice summer remix of the purple coin theme. I am focusing way too hard here. I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I've wasted too much time. It is Mario Galaxy 2 though. But the timer does stop once I grab all the purple coins. Right, you're going in a straight line. Go, 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 go. No, why did you... Why did you long jump? I wanted the bat flip. I had that. I was going to make that with one second left. And for some reason I long jumped. Right, it doesn't matter. This time I'm going to make it with a full minute left. I know what I'm doing now. Oh, they're so gutting though. 
Although one thing I've noticed about this day, though, is that even though we've got sunglasses on and we can't spin, it doesn't actually make that much of a difference to how you play the game, because in the raft, there's not really any need to spin. So it doesn't really make it that much harder. Death from poison? Yep, that was a death from poison. Mario, how many times did I tell you to stop swallowing the water in the pool? <laughs> You're not meant to swallow the water in the pool. It's bad for you. It's got chemicals in. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't get why I'm drifting. You feel like you should be able to hold straight forward. And you're going in a straight line, but that's not the case. You keep drifting from left to right. Oh, I am going way too fast there. I don't miss any on that row. There we go. That's an improvement over last time. Last time I missed some on that row. Oh, get back here. Brilliant stuff. Right, we are way ahead of our record or pace of the last attempt. But I can take my time with this backflip this time. To make sure that I don't do a long jump instead. Right, so I'll take my time. There we go. Oh, that was very weird. Uh, I think the invi invisible barrier there kind of messed up my backflip. Oh, and that is a red star shine. Keep calling it star shine. Um, I'm just going to... Just gonna call it Star. <laughs> Can we just all agree that it's a Star? <laughs> that way I'm not mixing up the names. There we go, I got a red Star, that's what I'm gonna call it. So does that mean that I get I get a red star on on Isle Delfino now? <laughs> on the plaza? Can I fly around with a red star now? <clears throat> like I doubt that's gonna happen, but that that would be really cool. And there we go. Uh, seven stars collected. And I've only been to Bianco Hills once. <laughs> there really is a lot to do in the in the overworld. And welcome to the stream, Thunky Thunker. Alright, so the last place that I want to explore is over there, I believe. I've, I've probably missed a whole lot of other secrets, but this is the last place on my bucket list to visit on our little holiday here. <laughs> Oh, I do need to be collecting these coins though, so I will absolutely take that coin if I can. There we go. Just one coin, but every little helps. Right, please be open, please be open. Is it open? I think it is. I don't see a cage. Yes, I can go down it. Oh, and there's no star select green either, so this is an actual mission. What, what am I looking at? It's like a marble run. What is this? This is, this is cool. <laughs> It is literally just a marble one. Oh, I want to collect the coins. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Oh, wait. The coins were a trap. <laughs> I should not have been too focused on the coins. And I should have just focused on the stage ahead of me. It right, doesn't matter though. I've still got a few coins. So I'm sure that will help out in, in the future. Right, so we're going to the left. Oh, do not jump. Jumping is a big mistake. Why did I do that? <laughs> I kind of forgot for a second that I am on a slope, and if you jump off a slope, you just keep going in that direction. <laughs> Have I game over yet? No, I've not. And I really hope that I don't game over in this stream. Oh no, was I meant to jump on that one? Oh, come on, that was a blind jump. How was I meant to see that? If I'm going to get a game over, it's going to be on this stage, isn't it? Right, three lives left. Let's do this. Or two, if you want to be technical. <laughs> right, so we hold left. Almost came to a standstill then. It's the orange, and now a jump. Oh no, oh no, no! I should have jumped straight ahead. Right, this is a very weird kind of buggy stage, isn't it? Just because of that jump. Alright, so I need to make sure that I jump really far back so that I've got time to land back on the slide. Or maybe I'm not meant to jump. Maybe there's some way that I can spin, but I'm not going to risk that. Yeah, so I'm going to jump now. Oh, but I can't move in midair. 
Yeah, so you've got to have perfect aim and aim directly for the platform. Right, final life. I might actually get a game over on this stage. Oh, no, 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 what was that? No, it turned into a pinball and it just ricocheted left and right. Wow, okay, quite a hard stage. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Oh, what's this, sir? Oh, I'm kind of happy that I got a game over now. Seems like I'm in limbo. I'll absolutely take these lives. I've never seen that before. I've never seen, like, a custom subworld. But when you game over, I've never seen that before. That is really cool. Right, yeah. Uh, that's one of the few times where I'm actually happy that I died. <laughs> oh, I just wish that male toad was actually working instead of just taking a vacation. Because I would kind of like those one-ups now. Now that I know what I'm going back to. It's a Galaxy Level Engine feature. Ah, right, that's really cool. So with Galaxy Level Engine, you can choose where Mario spawns after getting the game over. That is, that is a really cool idea and a really neat idea. I like it a lot. Am I going to be able to get up here without Yoshi? I should be able to, but I think I'm going to, going to have to lose the Ice Flower. Oh no, I can easily make it up there. And back to the slide. Right, hopefully I'll get it this time. April... Um, April Tenite? Tenite? Don't know how to say your surname, but April, welcome to the stream! Um, Mar Mario fan here. Uh, that's brilliant because I believe we are all Mario fans here. <laughs> so you, you will feel just at home. Okay. Don't turn into a pinball! Spin! And I saved it. Brilliant. Alright, I need to go straight down the middle. Right, don't move. That looks good. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, what's even the point in the bottom half of the stage? You don't even need it. You just need this uh, big block to land on. There we go. Give me that evil star. Yeah, I didn't really like that one. It feels like it's really buggy in this version of the game. Like, there should not have been that big jump in the middle. So that, so that you don't have to jump. I feel like something should have pl been placed in that gap there. Like, I know it's probably trying to be authentic to the actual game, but... It doesn't really work in Mario, Mario Galaxy, does it? <laughs> And that is 8 stars, so I'm almost halfway through the game. Uh, if you did not catch the start of the stream, there's 10 stars in this game. So, almost halfway through it. I was reading the comments on FPG's 6 4s upload video, and someone said that it took them uh, 4 hours to beat the mod. And I don't think I'm going to take 4 hours to beat the mod, but I kind of wish that I did so that I could split it into 2 streams. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to have to have to do... Two very small streams. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, have I explored everything now? Uh, I know there was a star up here. Yeah, how do I get that star? Like, there's not like a pipe under this bridge, is there? I'm sure that if I played Mario Sunshine, I'd know how to get up here. Oh wait, there is something there. Alright, if I can get a ice flower. Oh, yep, there's one, one right here. Then I can make a platform underneath that little tube and see if I can wall jump up it. Wait, no, is that blocked? Oh, it's blocked off, isn't it? Huh, I thought we were being smart then, so... How do I get up there? Right, there was a pipe in there, so I'm assuming that just some random pipe in the middle of nowhere is going to take me up there, but... Question is, which pipe? I do not know. So for now, I think it's about time that I actually go and play an actual stage. So I'm going to go back to the first stage in the game. If I can if I can remember where it is. Have I talked to all of these guys? I'm not too sure. But I don't think anyone's going to have anything too exciting to say. So let's just skip through then. And let's see how this works. Oh, I just walk into it. <laughs> Alright, so I've already done Road to the Big Windmill. That was really easy. So now it's time for Down with Sorbetti. Isn't Sorbetti the Freezy Flake boss in Mario Galaxy 2? I believe he is. 
But what's he doing in a game all about the sun? Like, pretty much the complete opposite of the galaxy that we used to play kids. Um, big monster in tower. Brilliant dialogue. 10 out of 10 for speech. <laughs> uh, how about you? Do you have better dialogue? Uh, I seem familiar. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, you're still saying the same thing. You still think that I'm Luigi. I'm assuming that you're still selling sunglasses, so I'm going to skip past you. Right, so... What is my objective? I'm going to go straight to the windmill. I think that's where I'm going to go. Oh, I also need to check if the water is now dirty. Because if the water's dirty, then that means that I can go to the sub area, which we found at the back of the stage. So, is that water dirty? Oh, uh, don't backflip. Uh, no, that, that looks pretty clean to me. <laughs> so, I don't think that sub area at the back of the stage will be open just yet. Kind of a, uh, kind of a useless bridge. <laughs> uh, where's the actual bridge? Is it still being built? I'm just going to take that and assume it's under construction. Oh no, it's a weird underpant guy with no eyeballs. Why are you in this mod? I don't think you're in Mario Sunshine, so what are you doing here? You're so creepy. Ah, this is, this is a nice, pleasant walk. See, that's, that's the sub area that we're talking about. So that guy there, he says that if the water's dirty, then he'll open the cage. Or open the sub area. But the water, it looks pretty clean. So I'm going to sh assume that I can't go in there just yet. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth trying to talk to him? I think it is. Please don't slide down. No. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I should be able to recover. Can I? This is never ending. <laughs> oh, yep. There it is. Oh, I really want to talk to him. Is there like a bee mushroom in this dish that I can take? Uh, oh, yes, there is actually. Um, I will definitely take that bee mushroom. I will really appreciate that. Uh, the the stolen stews, uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to say strolling stews, are literally from Super Mario Sunshine. Are they? I do not remember them. All right, so this is their natural habitat then. All right, so many slurples. Lurples, get out of here! There's already enough weird enemies inside this inside this game. <laughs> hmm. Maybe taking the bee mushroom wasn't such a smart idea. I'm now incredibly slow. I can't long jump. <laughs> and this is a massive galaxy. A massive resort. I don't know what to call it. Massive tourist destination. Just listen to the music, taking the beautiful scenery, <laughs> and just enjoy life. Just enjoy our vacation. Right, so what do you actually have to say? If I, if I can even stand on that platform with you. Oh, hello there, young lad. Have you ever thought about how important every coin truly is? Yes, I have definitely thought about this. Truly incredible to think about, right? Yes, you did actually remind me that I've also forgotten about collecting the coins. Because <laughs> uh, remember, I need 120, so... You know what, Piranha Plan, I'm going to kill you. Because I need your coin. And any coins in the bush? Ah, no, there isn't. I do remember these from the real game. Uh, the really creepy Piranha Plan vines. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Is that what it looks like underneath every single piranha plant? Just these really creepy vines just inside the earth? Is that what's underneath you? I don't know what else would be underneath you. <laughs> oh yes, look at this. So many coins in the world. Give me all of them. Right, so I believe if I touch these, then I take damage. So I need to be very careful not to touch them. And do I actually need to be suit to... Play through this. I think I might do. A really good job that I did actually pick it up. You can hop on the big windmill. Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> Once again, dialogue is 10 out of 10. Oh, wait. Careful, careful. 
Almost. Missed my ride then. I know I don't need it, but I really want to grab the 1-Up. Like, you can't just place the 1-Up there and expect me to just look at it and just not grab it. There we go. Give me that. See, I play Kaizo Mario Galaxy mod, so of course I'm going to collect every single 1-Up that I see. I've got to make it harder for myself. Any second now. Yep, here we go. And it looks like I'm going inside the windmill. Awesome. Alright, so is this is this the freezer plate boss? Oh gosh, and I, I, I know he's got a uh, graffiti all over him, and it looks like he's meant to be made out of pain, but I I just see chocolate. He's made out of chocolate. Oh no, I kind of regret having the bean bee suit now. Oh no, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Alright, come here. Chocolate ball. Yep. Second hit down. And, oh no. I actually forgot that. It's a lot harder to play this boss fight when you're not on a planet. Oh, I just realised how much health I've got though. I've not got three health. I've got... How much health is that? I don't know. I'll take it though. It's like way more than three health. Like more than double. And I didn't actually have too much trouble with that boss fight. I remember when I played Super Mario 64, no, Super Mario Galaxy 64 Holiday Special. They had the, that same boss fight on a flat boss arena. And I remember it being a lot harder, so maybe I'm just better at the game now. <laughs> Which I hope is the case. Although, let's be honest, I probably just got really lucky. And what star is that? Is that is that star number 10? Is that halfway through the game now? No, it isn't. Alright, so that's nine stars collected. Let's keep going. Wait, where's my, where's my painting gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, and we are now collecting a mystery star. Oh no, if I want to collect the mystery star, I've got to go back to this uh, Sorbetti star. Alright, I do actually think I know where it's going to be though. I'm pretty sure in the background, I thought an open cave. It's near the windmill, and you've got to use the cloud flower to climb over some power lines or something. So I think I know where I'm going, so I'm just going to speed all the way over there right now. I don't think there's any point in exploring the rest of the stage. Actually, can I be a bit sheety here and backflip over this wall? I can! Are there just no barriers? Wait, can I go even higher? What's up here? Oh no, that's, that's just a big slope, right? Probably best not go up, all the way up there. But yeah, look at this, there's just no barriers. I can just climb up wherever I want, and the stars room all the way over there. Oh, I do wonder if that's maybe where the Comet, Comet Medal was on the first mission. Because I have noticed that I did miss a Comet Medal, so I'm going to have to replay the first mission to find where that is. And there we go, there, there over there. You see the cave? I think that's where I'm heading. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Yeah, with the cloud flower. I thought maybe in the background I can jump over those bricks and find the shortcut, but no, that doesn't really lead anywhere. What's even up there? Oh, wait. There's a bad camera. I can't see where I am. Can I ground pound here? Yes, I can. Uh, can the camera fix itself, please? Yeah, I can't see what's over there. I'm really intrigued, though. Oh, no! I, I didn't realise it was that close to the wall. It doesn't matter, though. doesn't matter though, it's just a short swim back. And that water is not poisonous as well. Alright, this time got a much better camera angle, which I massively appreciate. Uh, can I not wall jump on that? Alright, this is a bit weird. I think I've got to use a cloud flower and I'm going to play it safe and use another cloud flower. Right, time to enter the sub area. So if I'm remembering correctly, in this sub area, in the real game, don't you get your flood backpack taken away from you so you can't use flood? And so in the real game, it made it really hard, but in this mod, I can still spin. Which means it probably won't be too bad then. But I'm liking it so far. Giving me massive Twisted Trials uh, vibes. Which probably makes sense, considering that Twisted Files is from Mario Sunshine. 
Uh, I do wonder if Twitter Trials will actually be in this mod. Uh, that's a really interesting thought. Like, will the entirety of Twitter Trials just be copy and pasted into this mod? <laughs> and can I not compound these? Oh, that's a shame. Anything on these stars? No, there isn't. Oh, I like these boxes. Right, not that hard to get past. Uh, once again, going to take that one up. If you're offering it, I'm going to take it. And oh, is that all there is? All right, I thought that. I, I remember that sub area being a bit longer than that, but it is the first one in the game, so it made ten times nice and short. <laughs> Enjoyed that. I do love the sub area. And hello, maybe crazy lol. And judging by your message, I do think that you might be crazy. <laughs> Hopefully not too crazy though. <laughs> and that now is actually halfway through the game. Um, maybe crazy. I think it's. I think you might actually be a bit crazier than I, than I thought. <laughs> uh, please don't spam in the chat, or else I might have to give you a timeout. Right, I've uh, got a nice collection of stars going here. I uh, do. You think Twisted Trials is being almost copied straight from Super Mario Galaxy 2? As models, you think, are getting replaced with the original Super Mario Sunshine ones? Um, oh, are there? I, I, I didn't know that the models in Super Mario Galaxy were different to the models in Mario Sunshine. Cool! Uh, the Silver Shines of Windmill Village. Oh, okay. So, this star is going to force us to go all over the galaxy, which is good, though, because I've not really had the reason to explore the entire galaxy until now. So, looking forward to exploring what this game has to offer. Hey, Stashman! Hey, you actually know who I am! I'm not Luigi! The Silver Shrines... Uh, not Shrines? Shines! Hidden all over the Windmill Village. Uh, there's eight hidden in total. Good luck finding them. Uh, so yep, there are eight, so they are literally replacing the red coins. Uh, they are improved compared to Sunshine in terms of looks. They look much better in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Well, I've never looked at them side by side, so... I kind of hope that I can see some in this demo and see what they look like in Mario Sunshine. Right, I see the first Silver Shine, uh, Silver Star. And get over here. And I think when coming over here, I did actually see some more on the roof as well. Oh, there's Pulse Stars. Oh, they're all on the roof. Look at this, I'm popping off. Right, give me that one. Wait, so are the old you going to be hidden in this part of the stage? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any over here, so I believe uh, we just got to explore this part of the stage. Yeah, look at this. There's one, two, three, four. And I need five more. So there's one more that's hidden. Oh, look at that. I don't even have to wall jump up because it just follows that all the way around. And is that Captain Toad over there? Well, of course I'm going to detour and go and talk to Captain Toad. Oh, no, it isn't. It's Purple Toad. Hey, Mario. Once again, dialogue is the best dialogue I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Captain Toad sent us here to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay, but why would Captain Toad send you here of all places? <laughs> uh, would it not be more reasonable to meet me at the spawn point? Uh, this place is great. Yeah, it is. Uh, I've not really gone in first person yet and just... Have to look around and take in the models. It does look very nice. I, I, I don't know how hard it is to port models between games. Um, especially when it's on different consoles. So I don't know if this, this is just really easy or if it's really hard and deserves a whole lot more credit. So I'm just going to assume that it's really hard and just give this mod all the credit that it deserves. Um, maybe crazy. Uh, what do you have to say? Uh, you might need to calm down on the comments, or Elvin might need to give you a timeout. <laughs> uh, you, ha you have something to tell me? Alright, go ahead. Tell me what you've got to say. Uh, whilst you're typing that message, I'm just going to try and find the final silver star. There it is. Find that one all the way over there on its own. Oh wait, no, there's another one here. I thought I had seven. Right, so it's not actually all the way, not... All the way up on, on, it, on its own. It does have a friend. But it's going to have a whole lot more friends any second now. There we go! 
Oh no, I can't see where the star is. Oh, it's there. No, it isn't. <laughs> it just came out of a cannon and... Right. I'm guessing I've got to use the cannon to grab that. Right, kind of terrifying because I don't want to miss it. And end up dying. But before I go in the cannon, I just want to explore a bit more of the stage. Because that's what I wanted to do on this mission. Just take in the entire model and explore the stage. And it looks like there's an entire section up here. That I've not even explored yet. Although, can I get up here? I should be able to if I triple jump. All depends on if I get a wall jump or not. And they have done brilliant stuff. Right, I'm up. Right, what do we have up here? Oh, no. From what I can remember in the original game, this is a boss arena, right? And you normally uh, fight Pee Wee Piranha here. Or Dino Piranha. I don't know what his name is in Mario Sunshine. And in this mod, for now at least, it doesn't look like there's much up here. But maybe there will be on the second mission. Uh, where's Captain Toad? Is he not up here? Hmm. Weird. Right, so what's the best way to get back on top of this wall? I think over at the start. Oh, I did not see him. Uh, first time he actually got me. Um, it's extremely easy to port Super Mario Sunshine models to Super Mario Galaxy since you can literally copy and paste. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy slash Super Mario Galaxy 2 use the same rendering engine as Sunshine. Same for other GameCube games. Alright, uh, so it's actually incredibly easy. <laughs> So, I should only be giving credit to all of these things. All the details that have been added on to make it Mario Galaxy playable. And that's what I should be give giving credit to. <laughs> yeah, how do I actually get back on top of this wall? Uh, just like that, I suppose. Um, alright. And I believe the cannon was just up here. Uh, is this a cannon? It sure is. Right, just do not miss this die. You know what? I'm going to play this incredibly safe and I'm going to zoom in. Which might actually be making it a lot harder because the camera's a lot more wobbly when zoomed in, but it worked! <laughs> but I will absolutely take that. Uh, that was a fun mission. I think I liked that one the most out of all the stars so far. In Bianco Hills. Because. You get to explore the stage. And the stage is massive. So it feels really sad when you're playing through these really linear missions. And there's not really any reason to explore the rest of the stage. So I like having a reason to explore the stage. <laughs> um, Gildas, Gildas PB. Welcome to the stream. So, you know what? I'm going at a good pace, so I think I'm going to try and beat this mod in this stream today. Um, I wasn't planning on beating the entire thing today. I was planning on doing it in two streams, but I'm going at such a good speed that it seems kind of pointless to split it into two streams. So, next up is the Silver Shines of Windmill Village. Oh, no. I've uh, already done that one, but I'm now collecting the Secret Star. Considering that in the previous mission, it was all about exploring the entire stage and trying to find the Silver Stars... I'm kind of intrigued as to where the, as to where the secret star is going to be hidden, because I feel like he has blood everything pretty well. Oh wait, maybe the lake is dirty and I can go to the other sub area. Uh, there's only 20 stars, splitting ain't worth it, yeah. The only reason why we're considering splitting the stream into two halves was because on the comments of the trailer, the fpg 64 video, I saw that someone said it took them four hours to beat the mod. Um, which I'm assuming now just meant that they were exploring absolutely everything and really taking it all in. Uh, unlike me, who's just trying to speed through the entire mod. So yeah, if we're playing it a lot slower, I, I suppose it would take four hours. But I think for me, it's going to take just over two hours to beat. Um, right, I don't even know where to go. Oh wait, 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 that is a weird texture on the... On the water there. That water is dirty. That is filthy. Who've been dumping in the... Who've been dumping in the ocean? Right, but that must mean good news for me. Because that means... That the cave at the end might be open. I don't know how that guy predicted 
uh, that the lake we're going to get dirty. I don't know how he does that. Like, I'm, I reckon that is him who made the ocean as dirty as it is. Because how else would he know that the water we're going to get filthy? Uh, but it does mean that the gate is now open. So, you know what? I don't really care about the water being dirty. <laughs> if, I, if I find flood, I'll clean it up. So, it's not like I'm oblivious to, um, the, to the dirty water. I will clean it up if I find flood. Oh, it might have been better to go with the bee mushroom. Now that I look at this. Right, can I make it down to that flower? Oh, wait, what? I can't stand on the flowers with Cloud Mario? Um, all right, I thought I could. Right, I really hope that one cloud is enough to get in here. How far back do I have to go? That'll do. And I'm um, in another sub area. Brilliant. Uh, I do love the sub areas. Oh, uh, once again, Mario... Uh, has a really weird camera uh, when he's got no hat. And hey, I can see the I can see the glasses. That's cool. Uh, well, that person must be bad at the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, the person that took four hours. Uh, they're either just having the time of their life or they're really bad at the game. And I did not realise that those uh, switched so fast together. But I thought they went one, waited a bit, then the other one spins, wait a bit. Then the other one spins. I didn't realise that they practically go at the exact same time. Yeah, so as soon as that one spins, I need to switch between them. See, I'm too used to beat blocks. I'm too used to taking my sweet time with beat blocks. Uh, what did that do? Just make a whole load of star bits appear? Yeah, but what I really need is coins. Are the coins down here? No, there's one up there. Oh, but I did make something appear. Was that a pull star? It was. It were multiple pull stars. All right, I like that. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I don't like this. I don't know how slippery this is going to be because I know in Mario Sunshine, uh, these boxes get really slippery really fast. Like the slightest slope and you just slide all the way off it. Although these ones don't seem to be too bad. They seem to be pretty generous uh, with how much you can tilt before you slide. Oh, I'll take that. How high is this going? Can I see the rest of the stage? Yeah, I can. Should probably not be spinning the camera. That's just confusing me. Why am I doing it? Yep, there we go. And this is not the end just yet. Oh, this has to be custom for Mario. From, from Mario Galaxy, right? There's no way that this is from Mario Sunshine. Uh, I like it, though. <laughs> like, it fits in perfectly with the theme of the stage. Um, what are your thoughts on this mod? As it definitely looks like a high quality mod. Uh, yes, I think it's a brilliant mod so far, but... The other thing is, is that the galaxies feel absolutely massive. But a lot of the stars feel very straight to the point. Like, there's not really any point in deviating from the main path. That's my only real gripe so far. But the rest of the mod is brilliant. It's really well put together, and I can't wait for the full, full game to come out. And one thing that I love about being really slow at uploading, because anyone knows that I'm really slow at uploading and getting around to playing mods, is that this mod is almost two years old now. Which means that I've got to wait two years less for the demo to come out. <laughs> like, that's an extra two years that I don't have to wait. Which means that for me, um, the demo's gonna... No, the full game's gonna come out a lot sooner after the demo. <laughs> So that's the benefit to playing demos really late, is that you don't have to wait as long, and you don't have to be as excited for as long. Alright, so next up is Giga Lakitu in the hills. Oh wait, is that going to be the boss fight? I just realised as well, how many stars are in this galaxy? Is this our sixth star so far? Like, how many stars are there going to be? Are there going to be the full eight stars? Um, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. Although, for the final star to spawn, I still might have to go back and find the Comet Medal. Wait, hey, that's the reason to explore the galaxy. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a reason to explore the galaxy. Right, so I see an arrow going this way. Yep, it looks like I'm going to the top of that hill. And we are going to the boss arena. Wait, why is there a split path? Well, I, I want to take the split path then. Don't mind if I do. What is the point in going over here? Why is it telling me to go the wrong way? 
Uh, there's another arrow over there. Are these just leftovers? Uh, Ricky Shuffle, is this a mod? It sure is. This is not the real Super Mario Sunshine. This is Super Mario Sunshine in Super Mario Galaxy. And... <laughs> was there a reason to this? Um... No, I don't think there was, but... I will take the cloud flower. Maybe that's what we're referring to. Maybe it's telling me to take the cloud flower. Although, can I even get back to the boss arena without going in water? Yeah, that's water there. I kind of want to avoid that. Yeah, what if I go up here? I keep forgetting that there's, that there's actually two paths. Which I didn't really like about the stage is that there's so many ways to get from point A to point B. Oh no, is that water there? Oh, I couldn't even tell. All right, I don't know what the point in going over there was. Um, I tried to take take a cloud flower with me, but I'm not, I'm not too de de desperate for the cloud flower. There we go. I can just backflip up. <laughs> a pink penguin. Uh, yep, that was a pink penguin. Which, are there even pink penguins in Mario Galaxy? I think one of the race of penguins might be pink, but besides that, very rare. Ooh, what's this? Well, nice bet in the sling star. Oh, it's this guy! Oh, it's this boss fight. That fits in perfectly. Oh, I like that. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, I suppose I was expecting Dino Piranha, because you know Dino Piranha is in Mario Galaxy. <laughs> hmm, this is a very small boss arena. Are you, are you falling asleep? <laughs> I didn't even know that you could do that. Wait, so if you walk too far away from the boss, does he just fall asleep? That's really cool! Yeah, this is bad, this is bad. Yeah, his lightning literally covers the entire boss arena if you don't jump to one of the platforms. <laughs> and I don't like that slope as well. Like, I don't know if I can stand on that and I'm not going to risk it. He goes really far away as well. What are you doing all the way back there? You think you can avoid the spiky? No, but you literally just flew right into it. There we go. And not too much to say about that boss fight. Uh, just a nice easy one. Uh, I do like the boss arena though. I like how it's multiple platforms instead of just one platform. It makes it a bit more fun to bounce between the platforms. But for the most part, you are just in one place. So there's not really much, much need to do that. <laughs> But the question now is, is, do I need to get that Comet Medal, or will there be another mission? I do believe the penguin colours are unused in vanilla. Oh right, so that purple pink penguin isn't even in the main game. Oh, that's really cool then. <laughs> I, I, I love it when mods can use unused elements in the game, and you claim it as their own, and you pretend, and you pretend that it's something that they've made themselves. Because no one else is going to know, well, I'm not going to know. <laughs> And hey, look at this! Uh, the moth stars in the galaxy, or is there? Alright, I'm guessing that missing star is a comet, so back down to the windmill. Back down to the first stage. Let's uh, see if I can find that comet medal this time. I thought that the first time I played through this, I thought I explored the stage quite well, but... Clearly there's something that I'm missing. I I've seen these high platforms. And I'm kind of terrified about them. Like, I'm kind of terrified that maybe the Comet Medal is all the way up there on top of them. But I don't even know how to begin to get on top of them. I right, once again got to collect every single coin that I can because I am kind of getting towards the end of the game. And I've still not collected 120 coins. So, really need to get on that grind now. Ouch. Health really isn't a problem in this game, is it? Let's be honest, the only way that you are dying in this mod is if you fall off a... Uh, fall off a pit. Or fall into a pit. Or fall off a platform into a pit. That's the only, that's the only way that you're going to die in this mod. Uh, like, how much health do you have? Uh, you've got 8 health. <laughs> that is way too much. Like, I know that in Mario Sunshine it makes sense because certain enemies deal more health than others. 
Like, if you take fall damage, you, you lose a lot more health than if you get hit by a Goomba. But in Mario Galaxy, it doesn't really make sense, does it? <laughs> when am I ever going to get hit by eight Goombas in a row without uh, collecting a coin? So, is, is there a way to get on top of them? I suppose if I went to the top of the windmill and platformed my way back down, but I don't see a Comet Medal. This is the thing though, because I've not played Mario Sunshine 100%, I don't know where all the good hiding spots are. Also, I don't even know if the Comet, Med Comet Medal is on the first mission. I'm just assuming it's going to be on the first mission because, you know, it makes sense to have it on the first mission, but... It could be anywhere. Maybe inside these little houses? Nope, not inside them. Is there a way up there? I don't think there is. Is it worth checking up there? Oh, that is a very weird camera. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, that's got to be it, right? How do I get up there? Can I do that on this mission? Is Yoshi even in the stage? Okay, um... Well, I think we've made progress. We know where... We now know where we're going. I'm just trying to remember if I've seen Yoshi in this stage, and I don't think I have, so... Unless if it's like a very specific mission that I've got to do it on. And I'm supposed to be remembering which mission Yoshi is on. Um, here's a tip on how you know which mission has a Comet Medal. Um, or which mission the Comet Medal can be found on. Uh, the UI, when you stand still, will have the Comet Medal icon if it can be found in this mission. Uh, will it? Um, oh, that's really cool. Uh, I never noticed that. Uh, that's how it works in Galaxy Level Engine mods. Right, so it's not like that in the vanilla game. That's only in this mod. That is such a cool feature, though. I love that feature so much. So it's definitely in this mission, then. Uh, they're not used, but if you remember correctly, uh, that's how the penguin races from Super Mario Galaxy 1 are coloured. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're thinking the same thing, that purple penguin definitely looks like the racer. Right, I suppose I've not really shed the water that much, so... There could be a com Comet Medal in the water. Uh, there's a Cloud Flower over there, so I could use that to get up to the berry. I think I'm just going to climb up the windmill, because I've not climbed up the windmill on the first mission. I climbed up it on the second mission, so there could be a Comet, comet Medal up there. Uh, sorry for the silence, just having a drink of water. Like, all this, um... All this summer gameplay, all the beautiful views of lakes and oceans, it's just making me really, really thirsty all of, all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, can I even get up here without the bee mushroom? I think I should be able to. Yeah, it's just this jump that I'm worried about. Okay, 90 degree wall jump, do something cool. Nope. Actually, I might be able to do a backflip up. Oh, come on, that's doable. If I do a triple jump. Right, if I do a triple jump and spin. Nailed it, there we go. Uh, why is there a, why is there a checkpoint up here? It's the first mission. <laughs> um, or unless it's like Mario 64 where you can collect every star on the same mission. Uh, it could be that sort of situation. So, if I get up here under the pipe, I need to make sure that I don't go down it. Yeah, is there anything on top of these windmills? I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, they're the pipes, so... Best not go down that pipe. But I was hoping that from the top of the windmill, I'd be able to see, to see the Comet Medal. Not like hidden in this crack, is it? Like, like just down there. That, that would be really mean. Uh, I hope not. Nope, it's not hidden there. That would be a good hiding spot, though. A mean one, but a good one. If anyone wants to make a green star mod for this, for this hack, uh, you know where to put the first green star? Just put it right there in that little hidey hole.
Right, I've not really got any plan as to how I'm going to explore this galaxy. I'm just going wherever I feel like. <laughs> I've not really explored these bricks. I don't know what these are sticking out of the wall. Like, I've not been able to stand on top of them yet. Uh, let's follow the wall up and see if we can get, get up on top of them. <clears throat> um, oh no, green stars aren't a thing in Galaxy Level Engine. <laughs> oh, so does, does that make it pretty much impossible to make a green star mod of this hack? Oh, that's a shame. Although, I suppose that's a good thing to keep in mind. If you do not want someone making a green star mod of your hack, you make it in Galaxy Level Engine and, and, the, and then it can't be done. <laughs> right. Why have I not found this yet? It's got to be that berry, hasn't it? But that is the worst long jump that I have ever seen. But, yeah, if it's inside the berry, then I need Yoshi to be able to open it, don't I? And I don't see Yoshi anywhere. See if I can save my two clouds. Yep, there we go. I know where the water is now. I just put the stars in green. Oh no, you found a way around it. <laughs> so just change the texture of the star to green. Instead of adding stars onto the original total. Right, I feel like I might actually need three clouds to get up here, but I'm going to try my best uh, to get up here with two clouds. Oh no, that can be done. But yeah, I need Yoshi to open the berry. Can I ground pound it? Yeah, what's the point in the berry? Yoshi! Where are you? Well, if Yoshi's going to be anywhere, he's got to be at the spawn point, right? Like, where else would he be? So let's do a bit of backtracking and see if I, see if I just ran past him, I might have done. Because it's not often that I use Yoshi, like, jo Yoshi is not my go-to character to use. So if Yoshi is here at the spawn, um, yeah, I might have just not even noticed. But I don't see him. Okay, I'm starting to see why it took someone... Four hours to beat this mod. Because <laughs> I'm kind of stuck as to how to get the Comet Medal. Um, I can't take Yoshi into a stage, can I? Like, can, can you do that with Galaxy Level Engine? Like, if I'm on the hub world and I walk into the stage with Yoshi, does Yoshi come with me? Um, hello, Ionic. Uh, you're bored and you're saying hi. Um, sure thing. Uh, happy I can cure your boredom. But I feel like I'm getting a bit bored now as well. Oh, wait, there's a little balcony there that I've not explored. What's that? Yoshi, is this your balcony? No, it isn't. Yeah, no, you can't carry Yoshi into a stage. I hope I've not seen Yoshi. Like, Yoshi's not been on camera, have they? Oh, what's down here? Ah! You are kidding me! It was there the entire time! Oh, that is, that is such a mean hiding spot. I, I thought that was just the other side of the wall. I didn't realise there were a hollow section in the middle. Wow, the final place that is check. Am I stupid? If I had played Mario Sunshine, would I know to check there? What's the berry about then? How do I open the berry? I was looking for a Yoshi egg. Alright, well, I feel like I've explored the entire galaxy now, so... <laughs> uh, there's another green star suggestion if you want to hide the green star there. Uh, any modders watching the stream? <laughs> oh, I feel like a right idiot. How long did I spend on that star? I, I, I don't want to know, but I'm going to find out, aren't I? At least I've got a lot of coins playing it. I suppose that's one benefit. And you know what? Uh, you prefer to grab that 
that, I am just going to grab a few more coins, because I see some easy ones down here. Like, I've already spent forever on this mission, so what's it matter if I spend a few more seconds? Yep, give me all of them. Alright, 34, I think that will do. Oh, look at him just sliding, just sliding down the uh, slope. <laughs> so adorable. He was just having fun. He, he didn't want to kill me. Um, how far is this station? It feels so far away uh, when I'm alone. Ionic, are you currently watching this on the train or something? <laughs> um, sure, not my go-to entertainment um, on the train is to watch a Mario Galaxy train, but <laughs> happy that I can pass the time for you. And that took 11 minutes and 30 seconds. And I finally got the second comic medal, there we go. Yikes. Uh, so what's the hardest part of the mod so far? Not any of the stars, it's finding the Comet Medal. Oh, and two blank stars have appeared now. So yeah, there are literally eight stars in this galaxy. That is crazy. Uh, cosmic clothes to the windmill. Oh, you're walking, you're, you're walking down the road. <laughs> uh, to the station. How are you watching this dream whilst walking, and how are you listening to it as well? Do you have headphones or do you have wired earphones? Oh, what have I just signed up for? Um, it's a dead devil, it's cosmic clones as well. We're going to the windmill, alright. Good to know. Uh, you are walking from West Newton uh, to Arbendale. Uh, so you can get, so you can get uh, Riverside easily. Um, well... Sorry to disappoint you, but I am not a local, and I do not know where the, where the places are. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's a lovely walk. Uh, Riverside walks are always very nice. I'm right, just hoping that I don't fall down into the uh, poison water down there. Uh, I've got the cloud flower, so you know what? I'm going to try and skip this. That was a bad idea. That was the worst idea I've ever had. Why did I not just keep walking? <laughs> um, Alright, ignore the cloud flower. Uh, you keep walking. You follow the path. Oh, I did not realise that was a thing. I did not realise that would affect me. Alright. <laughs> Cosmic clones are the bane of my existence, and this mod is proving no other than just that. Alright, so, whilst Ionic is doing his Riverside walk, I think I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm not going to do anything fancy, and I'm just going to walk all the way down. <laughs> um, all the way down this uh, Riverside, do no long jumps, collect no cloud flowers, and try and kill no enemies. <laughs> it's a nice, peaceful walk. Uh, Ionic reportedly arrested for blasting the Yellow Squid's live stream in public. <laughs> Yeah, please, uh, please tell me you're not actually listening to it on speaker. And if so, I just hope there's no one nearby. <laughs> uh, Riverside has quite a really sketchy walk um, along the sides of the river. Really? Uh, Riverside walks are normally just a straight line. That guy, hidden behind the bush, almost killed me just then. I need to be a bit more active with the camera spins. What are you doing? Grandpa Penguin, get out of get out of here! <laughs> the Deadly Daredevil comet in, in orbit. <laughs> also, did anyone else just see like a dead pixel? Yeah, what's that? What's that random pixel there? And this is a life meter. Oh no, oh no. Save it! Yep. Oh, how's this gonna work? Oh, you keep moving really slowly. I'm a save? I don't trust this. I, 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 don't, I don't like this. Right, so I think I'm moving at literally the, that same speed as the Cosmic Clone. Um, still terrifying though. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to long jump. No! Ah, oh, no! How did I mess that up? Are the clones like really close behind? I feel like the clones are a lot closer behind them than they normally are.
Uh, be right back. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna get a drink. Um, alright, you enjoy that drink. <laughs> oh, where am I going? I need to play Mario Sunshine. I do not know how to navigate these stages. I'm, I'm too used to Mario Galaxy. I'm too used to linear stages. I'm not used to open world stages. I see an open world station. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to run. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to make a video on an, on an open world stage. Right, now watch out for that uh, weird guy. There he is. You see that guy? He's so small that he just hides behind the bushes and you almost run into him if you don't spin the camera. I think that dead pixel appears again. It's normally around here. Yeah, there it is. Just a random dead pixel. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Is that because the life meter is edited um, in the main game? Is that why that appears? Also, is there any chance that I can just skip this? Oh, I should not do that. That will risk it. Oh, come on! No, that scared me. That jump scared me. I did... I didn't realise the hitbox were that big. Like, I knew I knew we were pushing it, but... I shouldn't have done that. Right, I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is probably my least favourite star in the game so far. <laughs> it's just a straight line walk, and it only gets hard towards the end. Well, watch out for the super short guys! Oh no, I bonked again. I swear the Cosmic Clones are really fast. They're not normally this fast, though. Like, you can normally bonk and stand up in time, can't you? At least I think you can. Oh no, I've just died again. <laughs> I hate Cosmic Clones, I hate them. Oh, I'm just trying to... I'm panicking now, I'm panicking because I keep dying over and over again. And the embarrassment just caused me to die more and more, which just makes me more embarrassed. And it's just an endless loop of me getting embarrassed and just dying over and over again. So, I feel the need to try and prove myself that I can beat it, but I try and, like, put a few long jumps in. I try and do a few tricks, you know, to, like, prove to myself that I'm better than that. I can do a few tricks. But clearly I can. I need, I need to play this safe. Yeah, look how close he is behind me. He is so close behind me. Do you want to try triple jumping up though? No, that would risk it. Oh, I should have just wall jumped. I could have made that. Also, what did I just say about stop trying to do tricks and stop trying to show off and speed run? Also, dead pixels down there in the bottom right corner as well. Uh, I don't know if that will show up on stream. Um, but there's a few dead pixels in the bottom right corner that keep flashing. It's just a really small one though, so, like I say, I don't think that will show up on stream. Right, I need to go out and in. Oh no. You've got to be aware that I can skip this. Oh yeah, that's easy, what am I talking about? That's not showing off, that's just a cakewalk. Oh, I'm going to miss my platform. Go! And I'm up. Right, so if I just stand here, I should be safe, right? Do I not need to move? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Perfect synchronization. Alright. Only thing is, though, because of how close behind these are, I've got to spin and make sure that I don't ricochet back on myself. I'm back into the Cosmic Clones. There we go. Oh, he got so close. I got really close to that vine as well. He's dead. <laughs> oh, if I died to that vine, I would have been so mad. But give me that star. And I really hope that is the last LC of Cosmic Clones in this mod. Not even in the demo, just the mod in general. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so what else is there to do? 
Uh, we've done all the main stars, I believe. I don't think there's any more secret stars. And we did the comet. So, unless it's another comet, like maybe a purple coin mission, I can't imagine what the final star's going to be. Eight minutes. Ah, that's painful. Yeah, there's still one more star. Can I go back into the stage? Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that I've got to walk into it. I keep thinking it's like Mario Sunshine and I've actually got to press the button. All right, so what is this? Uh, the silver shines of the lake. Did I not already do them? Uh, oh, no, I did the silver shines of Windmill Village. Uh, this is the silver shines of the lake. Looking forward to it. There must be a reason, though, why this one's being pushed all the way to the end of the game. Is this just going to be, like, really hard or something? Yoshi! Yes, I can finally open the berry! Oh, and give me that, give me that pepper! Whee! <laughs> and I can finally go down the slide at speed! Oh, the stage is different! And the button, oh, whoa! Look at that jump! Yoshi, you need to calm down! Alright, now what is the intended way of getting up there? I don't know! Um, oh wait, has the stream crashed? Why has the stream crashed? Um, is it working? Uh, can someone please confirm if the stream is working or not? And please tell me um, if the audio is in sync or not. And this high jump is making it really hard to actually kill that enemy. Um, is the audio in sync? Because normally when the stream lags like that, it normally messes up the audio. Um, alright, I'm just going to keep playing, and if anyone complains about the audio, then I'll try and fix it. But yeah, what is the intended way to get Yoshi up, up to that, up to that berry? Uh, maybe off the top of the house? I really don't know. Like, obviously it could just infinite flutter up there, but that can't be the way that you meant to do it. Yep, the audio is not in sync anymore. I knew that would happen. Alright, just bear with me for a few seconds while I fix this. Okay, I think that should have done it. Uh, see if that fixed it. Um, is the audio working again? I hope so. Because uh, I do not want to try and fix it again. <laughs> I always hate when there's dead space in a stream. I, d I don't like leaving the stream unattended. Um, I'm always really self-conscious of doing that. But I hate when something goes wrong and I've just got to like... Try and go quiet and just rush to try and fix it as, as fast as I can. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to give up on the berry just for now because I believe this is where I'm meant to be. Um, the audio fixed. Right, that's brilliant. Uh, fantastic. Uh, do I even need Josh yet? I think I do to start with, but it looks like 
I'm going to be switching to the Cloudflower. So yeah, I think I, I only need Yoshi for the first jump. And now it's just me and my clouds. I did not spin. Come on. Right, the map. The map. There's another, there's another Cloudflower right here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down there though that's not collected. And there's one very sneakily hidden away right there behind the camera. And what's that one doing over there as well? There's no, pat there's no pattern to these. They're just in the middle of nowhere. But I've still found you. There you go. You can't just hide over there in the middle of nowhere. Right, so how many is that? That's two. All right. Uh, good start. I really appreciate the high jumps in this mod. It's making these... Uh, it's making these platforming segments a whole lot easier. Oh, there's one all the way over there as well. And under the bridge. Right, so I thought the majority of them were going to be up here on the windmills. Oh, I'm just kind of hoping though that the star does not spawn on top of the windmills now because... Now that I've come all the way up here, I'm going to have to jump all the way back down. To get the final few silver stars. And... If the, if the star spawns on top of the windmill, I'm going to have to climb all the way back up. Right, it seems um, easy enough though. To follow the path, it's a pretty straightforward path. Although, I think as I say that, it's kind of split up in different directions now. Yeah, I don't really want to be over here. There's nothing over here for me to do. Oh, unless if that's where the star's going to spawn. Which I hope it isn't. Right, this is where I want to be. Going this way. And is that it? I, I think that's it for the ones in the sky. Oh, that's why I go over there. There's another one just in the, just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and the sneaky one. And yoink. Right, now I must be done in the sky, right? I've got to be. All right, I'm jumping down. I don't care. So the first one is under the bridge. Then we've got one to the left and one behind me. Yep, that's right. That, that's all three of them. Or all eight of them, I should say. Hmm. Oh, there, there it is. I uh, thought I lost you for a second. And I just realised that I've not used these hoops at all during this mod. So, you know what? I'm going to use the hoop. There we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. Is that how you meant to get up there? Um, I wonder if that led to a silver star. Like, if I did not collect the silver star, would that have auto-collected it for me? Why did I not use the speed hoops? That was amazing. That was incredible. I love Dave's second of that. Oh no, oh no, it's happening. Oh no, it isn't. The star is right there on top of the bridge. Thank you, SPG64, for placing the star in a very nice location. <laughs> I'm pretty sure due to the speed increase, that just doing a normal breathstroke is a lot it's a lot faster than spinning in this mod. That is crazy. Right, where's this hoop gonna send me? Oh no, it it sent it sent hmm, sorry, can't speak. Um, it sends you straight forwards, but at, at a whole lot of speed. So if you jump out of the water, you go flying in the air. Uh, you were about to ask if, if I've done a twin boost yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that might be a bit too much of a boost, but I do wonder if maybe you can use the boost to get from the water all the way up to the windmills. That would be a, that would be a really cool speed run skip. Like, surely that can be done if you time it just right. But I'm, I'm not good enough to mess around with that, so I'm going to grab that star and get out of here. But the question is, is that the entire galaxy complete now? Because we've still got that berry that I've just not eaten yet. And I don't know how to get Yoshi to it without cheating. Am I going to get a galaxy complete screen? No? Yes, yes I am! Stage complete! Sorry, I forgot the order that the menus popped up in then. So that stage is now complete. I don't know what that berry was about, but... You know what? We've got time. I'm, I'm going to find out what's inside the berry. Like, I'm a bit curious. Uh, the berry is worthless. Oh, do you know what's inside it? So I wonder if that's just like leftovers um, from the real game. That's just made it into the demo. 
like what I'm hoping for is that I kind of open the, like what I'm hoping for is I open the berry and a toad pops out of it and just says, hey, stop cheating. Uh, stop cheating on, on the game. <laughs> like, I think that would, that would be a really cool anti-cheat or something. Like, he just made fun of you for cheating. Right, so let's just see if I can do the infinite Yoshi Flutter to get up there first. Wait, am I being stupid? Yes, I was. Right, this is looking good. It's been a while since I've done an infinite Yoshi Flutter, so I am focusing way too hard on this. Oh gosh, oh gosh, careful. And I made it! What's inside the berry? That's it! <laughs> wow, that really was worthless. What is the point in this? You can't even get here without cheating. Is it just decoration? Is that all it is? Oh, I've not looked at the shine list yet. Hmm. Oh wow, uh, so I pretty much completed everything except Delfino Plaza. And to the secret, to the secret galaxy that, that I've not found yet. Um, all right, very interesting indeed. Uh, but for now, let's exit the area. Yeah, completely forgot to share the star list. So we know where one star is in Delfino Plaza. We know that it's where is it? Um, it's in the tower uh, to the left. But where is the other star? I feel like it's going to be on top of that massive gate. That's like the most obvious place. But how do we get on top of the gate? I tried the cloud flower before and I don't think it reached. Uh, but I'll try it again. Uh, do you want me to check DMs? Um, Ionic, I'll check the DMs after the stream. I just don't think it will have any relevance to the stream. <laughs> uh, sorry to say that. If I can start on top of that roof, that would be a massive help. Only thing is though, these canopies tend to be very bouncy. Oh, wait, um, that one is actually bouncy. Uh, I meant slippy. Um, oh, but I can't get up without spinning. Oh, that sucks. Uh, there is a blue berry there, so I wonder if maybe Yoshi is the way that you meant to get up there. Can I make it? Oh, I can! Oh, but the pipe's locked. What's inside here though? Is it a shine? Oh, the red star! Oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, I can go in there. There's lots of places that I can, that I can go inside. Oh wait, actually, you don't even need the red star to get up here, do you? You can parkour your way up here. Right, so what's this then? Oh boy, it's not even uh, the entry to the tower. Okay. Uh, where else can I go then? Go then. Uh, oh, let's try it up here. Uh, this looks important. And there's nothing up here. <laughs> um, I kind of want to go back to the tower and get another red star, because what I don't want to happen is that I run out of my red star power. And then I've got to go all the way back to get the cloud flower and all the way back up the tower. So I'm going to grab uh, another red star before I continue. Uh, I can't believe that doesn't work. Like, I was so sure that we're going to work and let me through. Um, is that open there? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, let's try going inside that window. Is that open or is there something in the way? Oh no, that looks open. Okay. I've made it. I'm in. I've got a shine. Ha <laughs> ha. I figured it out. Uh, Ionic, are you almost getting caught by trains? When you said that you're walking near the river, I thought it were like an actual footpath, not not a train line. <laughs> um, alright, so I found that star, but the question is, where is the other star that I've missed? And where is the other where is the other ga galaxy that I've not found yet? Or what's that? Can I go in there? Oh, don't mind if I do. Hey, found the one up! Uh, that's a really cool hiding spot, but. Not what I was looking for. Oh, maybe the lighthouse. Gotta be something on, on top of the lighthouse, right? Oh, literally, there is. 
Um, all right, time to get that red star back again. How did I miss that when I was on top of the gate? Looking around, trying to find where the stars are. <laughs> right, so that is the final secret star. But I still can't believe that I've not found the final galaxy yet. I feel like um, finding the galaxies should be easier than finding the finding the secret stars. And the shine gate is so pretty. Yeah, it is. Um, I suppose it's um, I suppose it's nice. Oh, look at that! That was super smooth that time. Right, and I'm just going to fly straight into that star. I don't know if this is the intended method, but this is the way that I'm doing it. There we go. And with that, there's three stars left to get, is there? Um, how many stars are left to get? Uh, yes, three stars. So it's going to be a small galaxy, but not the smallest galaxy. But not the smallest galaxy we played. Uh, yeah, I've collected everything. I've just got to find a new galaxy now. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to begin looking. Right, I'm going to start with the lighthouse. I feel like the left side of the plaza. I've explored quite a lot of, but this side, I'm yet to really touch on. Right, I've already been inside there. Wait, can I jump in through the window? Oh, come on! How is that not a stage? Oh, that, that would have been such a cool hiding spot for a stage. Are there any more open windows? No, I think that's the only one. Oh, am I meant to spin? I'm, I'm not giving up on the window idea. No, definitely, definitely not through the window. Right, let's um, have a look at the lighthouse if we can get round to that. Well, there's down on top of the lighthouse, but is there a galaxy underneath it? Oh, another open window! There's no way that this, this is a secret stage, is there? Nope. Right, there's an open window there. I'm just going to take it that none of them are actually a stage. There's nothing here! Hmm. Might be like an island in the background that I've missed. My only fear is that something's opened up that I'm not aware of. Oh, what's that platform over there? I've not been to that platform, have I? Uh, um... <laughs> Yoshi, are you okay? Alright, I thought Yoshi, Yoshi just drowned then. Luckily, um, he's alright. Am I going to be able to get up here? Oh yes, because we've got massive jump. And once again, there's nothing here. Um. Yeah, I, I really don't know. You gotta keep wandering around, but I feel like I've explored everything uh, pretty well. Really wish that I played Mario Sunshine. So I knew where all the sub areas were. Oh, I'm stupid. The Hungry Luma, of course. Uh, do I have enough coins? I do. Why did no one tell me it was a Hungry Luma? <laughs> um, sorry, I, I take 100% uh, credit for that. I'm just stupid. That's the stuff. I'm so full. Wow, I think I'm going to. Transform! But what are you going to transform into? Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, a fruit boat appeared. Uh, did it? What, that down there? Huh. I suppose it did. Oh, uh, Alright, I'm on the boat now. Um, Delfino airstrip. Purple coins on the airstrip. Oh, right, I'm back to the first area. Right, so I ride the boat back to the first area of the game. Right, that makes sense. Okay, uh, what do you have to say? So, is this where all the final three stars are? Uh, it doesn't say just yet. Uh, you don't even talk. Right, you're just managing the boat. You're, you're just security. Alright, good to know. 
I'm going to take Yoshi because I see a lot of dash peppers. And I see a lot of weird guys as well. Wait, in this mod, do they actually have pupils? They do! Like, you realize they've got pupils. They've actually got eyeballs. Unlike in Super Mario 63. Oh, gosh. I should not be using the dash pepper. Oh, I've missed the coin. Oh, don't grab it again. Right. Uh, let's go in the water if I'm, if I'm using the dash pepper. Got no idea where I'm going. Oh, no, I missed one. That's my worst nightmare, missing one and then having to backtrack and try and find where it is. Oh, no, I missed another. That's a pretty mean one. Putting them over the boat like that. Right, uh, I've lost the dash pepper, but it should be a bit easier now to grab now that I don't have a dash pepper to worry about. How did I miss that? Okay, uh, let's try this again. There we go. Nailed it. Can I just get that dash pepper, please? And away I go. Oh, no. I just missed them all again. Oh, no. I missed every single one. Oh, no. I'm getting worse of the game. Right. I don't think I had as much trouble that time. As I did with the previous ones. Oh, now I'm missing the easy one. Why is that back pepper so, so out of the way as well? <laughs> it's in such an awkward position. Why is it not on the straight path? Right, uh, doesn't matter though. I can just swim and grab these final few. Is that all of them in the water? No, it isn't. There's a whole lot more. Once again, no dash pepper to uh, start me off with. Oh, yep, here it is. Oh, that's a tight bend. Oh, was I meant to grab that with my tongue? I think I was. I noticed that there were dash pepper in the middle, and I was kind of hoping that the path were going to go straight through that. Right, and just the final few that I've missed, and now I think that's all of the ones in the water. Come on! There we go. Right, 74, that seems like... No, that, that's a terrible number. Why is it not a round number? Why is it not like 75? Why is it 74? <laughs> right, let's just hope that the rest of them are on this runway. Oh, it's quite a long runway though. Alright, time for takeoff! Oh no, I missed one. Oh, why am I so wobbly? Just literally going in a straight line. Yep, this is all of them. Oh, there's so many weird guys as well. Why are you trespassing on the runway? And kawoosh! Oh, that's a red star. Oh, yeah, because, because it's a comet. I forgot. Uh, the comets are red. Oh, wait, no, they've got no eyeballs again. Why do they have no pupils? Why are you guys so weird? <laughs> and Yoshi D likes them. Oh, very tasty, though. Uh, very energetic. Okie dokie. So that star did actually have a star select screen. So does that mean there's going to be more than one mission there? But what else is there going to be to do there? Unless if it's like Gateway Galaxy in Mario Galaxy 1, where after you do the purple coins, you can then go back to the tutorial. Uh, maybe it's like that sort of situation. But no Galaxy Complete. Okay. So there is more to do on the airstrip. Uh, it might be the smallest galaxy in the world, but I'm curious to see what the stage is actually going to be. Like, how can you make such a small area into an actual stage? Oh, wait, no, there is nothing else. Huh, so where are the final two stars of the mod, then? I am so confused as to where the final two stars are. Uh, let's just check, let, let's just check the star list. Oh, there's a Comet Medal. Why, why is there a Comet Medal on the Comet? <laughs> In what world does that make sense? Alright, I suppose I should have explored the galaxy a bit more than I did. Alright, take me back to the airport. Okay, so where is that... Where's that Comet Medal? 
It's got to be in this tower. Like, this is the only hiding spot it can be in, right? Where else could it be? Wait, can I even get up this tower? Oh, wait, no. It's going to be on top of the uh, water cooler, isn't it? Or uh, maybe not? Is it up there? And the purple coins aren't actually a comet here. I like how it isn't a comet in Gateway Galaxy. I suppose that makes sense, but... I think you're looking a bit too far into it. <laughs> it's a comet! Uh, is that ground poundable? Huh. Oh, wait, the big pole over there. Uh, maybe it's on top of the big pole. Uh, let's check that out. Got to say, though, I am not looking forward to collecting all the purple coins again. Uh, just so that I can beat the stage again. Well, I'm just really happy that it's not in the most obvious spot being the tower. So that it's kind of justified that I did not find the Comet Medal straight away. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and now to grab all the purple coins all over again. Yay! <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, it doesn't matter, we're back to that section anyway. I forgot to do that part twice, so... I won't forget about them. Oh, no, I missed, I missed a pepper. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Oh, no. Right, instead of backtracking on each boat individually, I'm going to try and do them both together. Just like this. Yeah, I think this is way easier. I just run it in both directions. Well, it's nice to see that I'm now better at the game. <laughs> I think I did that way faster than last time. Oh no, that's gonna... Oh, that's gonna really annoy me. Uh, can I grab that uh, while swimming? Uh, yes, I can. I don't know how I pull myself up out of the water. And Ionic, you are back. Uh, I never realised that you left. <laughs> I always say this on every single stream that I ever watch, but you never have to announce when you're watching or when you're leaving. Um... Like, I see so many people doing it, and it's just one thing that I've never really done myself. And, I don't know, you find it a bit strange that you announce when you're watching and when you're leaving. <laughs> I don't know, is it, is it that strange, or am I, am I the strange one for not doing it? Or am I just overthinking this social situation? Am I just being awkward? I think I am. So, if you want to announce when you've uh, joined the stream or when you've left, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so you're fast. Uh, you're that fast that I didn't notice that you left. Um, yeah, there's only been four messages since since your last message. <laughs> but I'm also fast because I just beat that stage yet again. I'm really hoping that unlocks the next two stars because if it doesn't, I don't want to search um, Ayo Delfino again for where the final star is. <laughs> uh, Super Hacker, you're always watching. Um, that's not creepy at all. I'm just going to say that as a compliment. Um, it's more so to let the streamer know that you're coming back. Um, I suppose, yeah, I suppose it's kind of like a nice gesture, but... I've never really been one to be too focused on views. Like, if I've got, uh, two viewers versus, like, ten viewers... It doesn't really change how I go about the stream. <laughs> uh, it doesn't bother me. Um... So, Strolling Stew and Spiny Bomb. No, why is Strolling Stew in the name? Why is the weird guy in the name of the in the name of the mission? Oh wait, the bombs though, so I get to kill them all. This might this might be the best stage in the game. Right, give me this. How many are there? There's loads of them. Let's kill them all. This is gonna be glorious. And I did actually just see a really sneaky a really sneaky guy back there. See, I'm not gonna miss him like I did with the Comet Medal. Oh, now I'm picking up some speed. I was wondering why we're going so slow. 
Right, so I'm going to tick, so I've got to kill absolutely everything. Oh, thing is though, how many of each star do I get? Do these respawn? I'm not sure if they do. Gotta say, we're kind of hoping for a few more Swirlings Jews uh, than spi Spinies. <laughs> uh, do I even have to kill the Swirlings Jews or is it just Spinies that I'm killing? I don't know, but I'm gonna kill them both. And am I going crazy or is Mario just running really slow? I swear Mario's running really slow. Does it normally like gain speed? Uh, I don't know if he does. Oh, there's a sneaky one down here. Is that the final one? Oh no. Oh, this is the worst situation. Uh, where's the final one? Is it on that beach over there? Yep, I knew it. These spiders on the beach are really mean. That, that's gotta be the last one. Thank you, because I did not have enough time to make it back over to the other side of the stage. And you feel like your parents always know when you're doing something. They always call a message uh, close to when something is done. The psychic. Um, that's brilliant. <laughs> I should be thankful that they're, that they're concerned about you. Uh, so, don't take it as an, as an annoying thing. Uh, don't be annoyed by it. Just take it as a nice gesture. <laughs> Alrighty, um, that is the 19th star of the game, but there is still a missing 20th star, and there can't be another star on on the landing bay, can there? Can there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, only took two minutes. Oh no, stage complete! Where's the final star? No! Um... I've done everything! Where's the final star? There's no more galaxies, although does this count... Yeah, this counts the uh, sub -gal Oh wait, I can scroll. <gasps> Beyond a game over. Ooh! This is a super secret star. So, I've got to get a game over and do something in the game over screen. Right, I do like where this is going. Um, what's the best way to kill myself? Uh, probably to enter a stage, so let's do that. Um, if we can get round, if we can get round the statue. I'm just trying to think, um, what's the best way to kill myself? I've got so much health that so it's going to be really hard to kill myself over and over again. Um, oh yeah, I can scroll. Hey, in my defence, it's a demo. And demos are typically just one world long, so I wasn't expecting to be able to scroll. Why is there an invisible barrier there? The fastest way to kill myself is, is to die to a pit. Right, so I might just have to go all the way over to the sub area. Uh, so that I can repeatedly kill myself. <laughs> I regret collecting every single one up that I could. Like this also... A an invisible wall? Yeah, it is! Uh, kind of strange that, that, that there's an invisible wall there and that you can't actually just jump over and kill yourself. Because I'm pretty sure you can jump over in Mario Sunshine. Can you? I think you can. Oh, can I make that? Ah, oh, I think I could have done, but I had a really bad angle. There's got to be a better way to get up there than that, though. Um, How do we get up? Oh, I can't even go to the sub area on the first mission. What am I doing? Oh, it's like that in Mario Sunshine as well. There's also um, invisible walls. Come on, go back to the. Is it because of... is it because I selected the first down of the game that I can't go back to the main menu? Ah, uh, what's the fastest way to kill myself? I'm gonna die to a sea urchin. That thing's spiky. <laughs> it's really gonna take so long. This was a mistake. Um, will it be faster to just beat the mission and go somewhere else to kill myself? I think it will be. No, I, I know what I'll do. I'll go back to Io Delfino and I'll go to one of the sub areas. Uh, you, know, you know like that big slide? Uh, that's what I'll do. 
Oh, I've got to kill them all. I thought I only had to kill the one in the in the pipe. Uh, this wasn't set up properly. Right, so are you supposed to be able to go back to the main menu? Um, back to the hub world after collecting the star first time? Is that, is that an error? Is that a bug? <laughs> well, I found the bug. And that's, that's the whole point of a demo, isn't it? To just uh, find bugs and find out what needs doing. Uh, take people's opinions on the mod and try and make it better for the full release. <laughs> but I'm doing my part. Right, so my plan is to go back to that big slide. Or even the Poison River would do just fine. Uh, whichever's closest. Yay! Nuclear time! How was that my new best? I took so long to die. Or to beat it, I mean. Oh, it's not that, it's not that you're supposed to. It's just optional if you want to go back to the main menu or not. Okay. So, is this the Poison River, or is this the slide? I think this is the Poison River. Uh, yeah it is. Uh, it doesn't matter though, I should be able to kill myself just that fast. It's not faster, it might be faster to kill myself to the Poison than to jump off. Right, here we go, just got to do this seven times. And then, I don't know what I've got to do in, in Limbo. I assume that in Limbo, I just got to keep walking until I find the star. Oh, look at this. I am burning through my lives. I'm the worst player ever. Have you ever seen anyone lose their lives as fast as this? This has got to be the fastest way to lose your lives in the mod, right? <laughs> Whee! I really want to swim in it. It looks so crystal clear. Yeah, it's got a little dark shade to it, but who cares about that? Right, and this is the final death of it. Yep, there we go. We've got a game over, but that is not the end of the game just yet. Got one final star left to grab. <clears throat> oh, wait, so what happens... If I get a game over inside Limbo. It's going to take forever, but let's just see what happens if I get one single death. And if this doesn't do anything, then I'll go exploring. Because I don't see a star anywhere. Like, yeah, there's got, there's got to be a reason for the dry bones, right? Right, so where am I going to spawn? <gasps> I'm smart! I'm smart! I've broken the game! <laughs> it's untested! Error! Message could not be loaded. Right, maybe this sign will spell it out for me. Oh, no, still can't be loaded. This is cool! This is so cool! I've never played on this map before. Um, I see so many Mario Galaxy modding videos on this map. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's just some sort of like experimental map where you can like test out new features. Uh, but I've never played it myself. Oh, what's that over there? There's something... Oh, that's a big pit. Oh, wait, I just realised as well. Is this how big the scale is in Mario Galaxy? I've always wondered how big the scale is, so... That's two metres right there. So, like, a question mark block is two metres. That's four metres. So, Mario is, like, the width of one metre. That's really cool. I never knew that. Uh, Ionic. All right, see you around. Oh, that is a tiny box. Uh, this is the official Super Mario Sunshine test stage. Wait, so, so can this be found in the files of uh, Super Mario Sunshine? If so, that is amazing. Oh, message can't be loaded. Then why are you here then? <laughs> What's this random box though? Why is this like the only box that's got, got a texture to it? I don't know. But that was a really cool easter egg. I love that. Well, it's not even an easter egg. You've got to do it to beat the mod. <laughs> uh, that was such a creative start. I loved it. Uh, I really like that. I kind of wish that I found that by accident. Um, unintentionally. But still a cool, st still a cool star. And with that, that is the demo complete, I believe. 
Uh, the ultimate test. Uh, I, I, I don't think that was the ultimate test. Uh, familiar testing ground. And stage completed. Oh, message sent to the Wii message board. Um, well, I might as well check that. Uh, let me just double check that I have beaten the game. Uh, I believe I have. There's all the stars there. And the scroll. Who knew? Beyond game over. There we go. Galaxy complete. Alright, time to uh, check the message, I suppose, and see if that's different. It's very rare that people do actually change the message bars, but... On the off chance that it is different, it's always a really cool easter egg. Uh, where is my pointer? There it is. Uh, do I have a message? Also, why does my Wii think it's Saturday? It's not Saturday yet. <laughs> Uh, that's not the right one, is it? This is... Oh! This is the one I wanted, and it is different! Look at that! We've got a little cool photo of Mario with sunglasses on. <laughs> uh, just chilling. Uh, they have his sleeves rolled up as well. That is really cool. I love that. Uh, dear player, thank you for playing the, de the demo for Super Mario Starshine and playing to the very end. I hope you play the full hack when it's out. Until then, stay hydrated and drink some water. The Super Mario Sunshine Team 2022. Playtime, 136 hours! Yeah, I, um, I'm just terrible at this game. I'm sorry that this stream dragged on for 136 hours. <laughs> um, really thankful, to, really thankful to the 10 of you that managed to watch through to the end. Um, and watch all 136 hours. Uh, I wasn't expecting anyone to stay past the first hour, to be honest. <laughs> um, what does the send button do? I've never pressed the send button in my entire life. Uh, we connect 24 is not turned on. Confirm your we connect 24 settings in we settings. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've never pressed that button ever before. Right, well, that was Super Mario Starshine. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more had I played through Super Mario Sunshine beforehand. But I'm definitely going to try and play through Super Mario Sunshine before playing through the full mod. Whenever that comes out, whenever that may be. Uh, this mod is almost two years old, so I hope it's coming out sooner rather than later. Um, my only gripe with the game was that I, di I didn't really feel an incentive to explore. Like, the levels were absolutely brilliant, but outside of that, it didn't really feel like there was an incentive to explore the entire stage. But Evan Ball, earlier in the stream, did mention that blue coins are going to be added to the game. And I'm hoping that the blue coins will fill up a lot of the blank space. So, you feel the need to explore everything and you feel rewarded for exploring everything. So, if that gets fixed, then this mod will be a 10 out of 10. And I loved it. I really enjoyed it. And it also took two and a half hours to play through just one galaxy. So, imagine how long the game's going to be if all the galaxies get added. And it's very different to any other mod that I've played through before. I don't think I've ever played through a mod that's trying to be like an entire recreation of another Mario game. But it's a brand new experience, and I also want to apologise if my commentary was terrible throughout this stream, like always. Um, I did have a bit of a cold, uh, you might have heard me mute the microphone to cough a few times. <laughs> I don't want you to listen to that. And also, I always find it really hard to commentate over custom Galaxy mods. Because I'm too used to playing Kaizo mods, and I'm too used to commentating over Kaizo mods. That I always find it really jarring, uh, switching from a hard mod to an easy mod, and there's always action. I don't know, I always find it harder to, harder to commentate. But I hope the common commentary was alright, and I hope I didn't get tongue twisted too many times. And I hope you enjoyed the stream, because I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, playtime is booked in earlier Galaxy level engine versions. Oh, right. <laughs> um... I assume that's maybe the development time, or maybe maybe it's just unrelated, and it's just a random bug. But anyways, uh, I think that will be the end of this stream. I don't know what to stream next. I thought this would be a two-parter. Uh, I'm really running out of things to stream. <laughs> I need to start um, being a bit more creative with my streams. Uh, but for now, thanks everyone so much for watching, and all that's left to say now is... Don't get cooked, stay off the hook! And stay, stay hydrated and drink some water. <laughs>